the cruise ship today. This is extremely important. And if we don't finish it, well, I don't even know what to say. I have to be done with this. It's been too long. <laughs> I think this is day four. So we, we've spent at least like 10 hours on this so far. Um, and I just, <laughs> we need to finish this today. So that is my goal. Happy Saturday though. We'll, we'll get to work on this. Um, actually, let me, I never updated the Y command. We're going to finish our giant cruise ship build. I don't know. That should be fine. That should be enough. Okay, oh my gosh, <laughs> Declan with the 62 months. That is an extremely long time. Anytime someone subscribes for that long, I feel tempted to be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're in this for life now, me and all of you. But that's a long time, thank you. <laughs> Melly with the 39 months, we got okay. And Alicia with the 27 months. Julia with the 24 months, two years, hello. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck here. How do I leave? Help, <laughs> help, how do I leave? How are Snap's teeth? She's actually been doing better today. Um, I also have a massive positive update about Snappy and the kittens and like the introduction process. They've been like this far away from each other now. They've allowed each other to approach. Well, more so Snappy has allowed them to approach, but only to about that far. Then she hisses at them and they run away. But she was just sat there on her little cardboard bed, kind of just watching them for a long time, which was really like normally she eats near them and then like kind of runs away, but she just watched them for ages. We've, we've made some huge progress with the cat introductions today. Very, very, very big progress. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> um, she wasn't hiding from them like at all today. So I will say she is still on medicine from her teeth. <laughs> So like, it's possible that that is playing a role in, in her uh, improved calm nature today. So, but anyway, <laughs> slowly it will get easier just in general. It just takes time with them to be introduced and start liking each other, so. <laughs> and Cassie, Josh, Kay, and Erica, and Lauren, and Shauna, and Miss Piggy, and Kala, and Jay Dots, we got Eunice. Uh, Bit and Mothman and Wagman and Koda and Julia. Thank you all so much. Artificial Mood and Misha, thank you so much. 41 months, Artificial Mood. I really, really appreciate that. You all, thank you so much for this. All right. We're gonna finish this today. Mark my words. <laughs> yeah, she's like, am I imagining this? Or are there like a bunch of little black holes running around? Little little rats running around the house? <laughs> anyway, she was, um, I'm looking at pictures. I don't know. My front door is visible in a lot of these pictures, so I probably should be like relatively careful. I don't know if I should show any, but take my word for it. They were kind of close together and it was very exciting. So anyway, <laughs> that's a bonus. That's been helpful. Um, and the kitties, I also filmed a YouTube video with the kitties in my room today. They, um, here's the thing. I've done that twice now. They, they love to run. They love to run. They run and run and run. <laughs> so when I try and film when they're in here, it's just like <laughs> these footsteps and, and running. <laughs> so how are Snappy's teeth? She's been doing good. Oh, the other update. Um, so obviously she had her teeth removed a couple days ago on Thursday. So it's been a couple days now. I think she's fine. Like she's had medicine to help with the pain, but I think that she's doing really well. Um, she seems to be handling everything just completely fine. She's not as wobbly anymore as she was yesterday coming off the anesthesia either, so that's a bonus. Um, and then the other thing is that while she was at the vet getting, because uh, she had to get put under anesthesia to get the teeth removed, they did a chest x-ray on her while she was there also, um, which I was glad because I just worry because she's old now, you know? Her chest x-ray looks perfectly normal. The vet called me today and updated me on that. So I was, when the vet called me, I didn't know they were gonna call today. So when I got a call from the vet today, I was like, oh my God. And then I answered it and it was good news. So it was fine. But anyway, apparently, and I guess this makes sense. I just hadn't thought about it before. Um, so the vet was like uh, talking about the results of her of her x-rays and she was saying how um, there's like some movement and like a, like changes that happen to their spines and lungs in their old age. <laughs> um, and so she was like, so we can see that, but like everything's perfectly normal and nothing's wrong with her. Um, so that's good. But interesting that her lungs have changed shape as have her spine. 
So, <laughs> but she's old, so it makes sense. I just didn't really think about it. But anyway, good for her and her uh, shape-changing lungs and spine. <laughs> she's 15, Vanessa. So she's not like ancient, ancient, but she's not, she's not young either. So, <laughs> hey, Kayla, Attempt, and Maz, and Nadine, and Miss Madam. Uh, we got Tuffy, and Raz, and Anne, and Sweetest Nightmare, and Shook, and Aaron, and Grace. Thank you all for the subs, too. Yeah, we were talking about Snappy just then, Ainsley. What were they looking for? Um, it was, they weren't looking for anything wrong, necessarily. They were just more so checking to make sure that things were normal. Um, they didn't, like, think that something was wrong. They were just, like, she's old and it might be good to check. And I was like, I agree. So let's do that while she's already there. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll do that. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> um, but anyway, turned out good. Was there a YouTube video today? Yeah, I posted it an hour ago. Uh, I built an, apart an apartment, so. All right, anyway, here's my cruise ship, besties. Here's the deal. So we have, for the most part, just this floor left to finish, which is a lot, but it's just that floor. And then maybe some like final detail touches around everywhere else. When we last streamed, we finished um, half of this floor and then like the kids area, and we started working on some of this lobby space, but I was getting a little overwhelmed and stressed, so I had to stop because the lobby was stressing me out. So I'm gonna come back to that because I don't like it right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna do the lobby last. <laughs> and so I'll put it on the gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always put all my bills on the gallery. I, I won't put it up yet because I'm gonna finish it first, but I'll put it up when I'm done. And that will hopefully be today. I say that because every time I do a build, the chat's like, put it up now, put it up now. And I'm not gonna put it up now and in like two hours, you know, but you get it. I'm sure you get it. It's just some people don't. So <laughs> just so you know, I'll put it up when it's done. Um, that is the plan. You two get stressed out by lobbies. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird, isn't it? It's hard. I don't know what to do with it. So I just I have to come back. This is gonna be the restaurant, like in here and out on this deck. This is gonna be the kitchen. And then this is all the spa. And then we have a suite as well. Yeah, I don't really get it either, Christine. I guess they just want the shell so they can start furnishing it now. And they're like excited, so they want it now. But I, I also am like, a, why do you want the half done build? <laughs> but I think they just want the shell because they're excited and they wanna furnish it themselves or something. But. Anyway, I don't really want to put it up half finished because then I would have like, you know, I'm just gonna put it up again in a second. So why have two, you know? Have the naked gnome as the owner of the cruise ship. We do have some gnomes. Uh, the business gnome is running the front desk. And then um, we've got a handful of gnomes that are driving the ship. Look, this guy, he's got a steering wheel and then there's a big steering wheel. <laughs> and then we have um, the Grim Reaper gnome works here. And so does the swimming gnome. So they're the ones that are working the the front. So will vendors staff everything automatically? No, <laughs> no, not even close. So um, we'll talk about this probably a lot of times today because people are gonna ask about it so many times. So I'm sorry if you hear me repeat myself like 50 times, but um, this is classed as a recreation center right now. Uh, it functions as a pool, it'll function as a bar, it'll function as a spa, it'll probably function as a gym. Um, it'll function as a cafe, as a restaurant. So there's a lot of different types of lots that it will work as, and it's gonna have stuff for all of those things. The problem is, like, the restaurant is not gonna be staffed unless the game thinks it's a restaurant. Does that make sense? Um, so it won't, it won't have, like, a functioning restaurant unless you make it a restaurant. Um, and, like, the bar might not be staffed unless you have the right stuff on it. So that's just to be kept in mind. And I personally would not make this into a rental lot. I'm trying to pretend that it's a hotel. I personally would not class it as a vacation rental because, for me, vacation rentals do not serve the purpose that I desire out of my dreams for hotels. I want this to be a community lot that people come and actually visit and then you would just stay here and not leave is kind of the idea. So you would like come when it's a spa and then visit it and then just sleep there overnight instead of like classing it as a vacation rental because it would be so expensive. It'd be huge. So anyway, that's kind of my idea behind it though. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Jess, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Um, and Megan and Kara and more Panthers, Alyssa, Pink, Westy, Sarah, Indigo, Kayla. Um, and we got Violet and Bob Pancakes, Mistress, all with the subs too. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Um, anyway. How often does Dan think about the Roman Empire? Can I tell you guys something about this, like, meme that's going around the internet where you, like, ask a man how often they think about the Roman Empire? I haven't asked Dan this. And I get the joke, okay? I get the joke. But, like, it makes me feel embarrassed because I, as a person with a history degree, I think in this relationship, I'm the one who thinks about the Roman Empire. You know? So that's, I mean... There's a lot to unpack there, but, like, to, if I'm being honest, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it seems like an embarrassing thing to admit, because the internet loves this meme right now, but, like, if we're being truthful, well, how often? Well, not every day. The meme is, like, they have these people ask their boyfriends, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? And then the boyfriends are like, every day. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know. I have a history degree, so I'm not, like, I don't know. My tar I'm the target audience, I think. <laughs> One of the dumber memes you've heard? It's TikTok. So, yeah. So. I think the joke is, like, a... And maybe I'm wrong. This is my understanding of it, my assumption. You know how, like, some men are, like, extremely fascinated by, like, World War II? And it's, like, a huge interest of theirs, and they love, like, I don't know. They like to talk about it and read about it and stuff. I think that, like, the the Roman Empire and, like, the imperialism and, and that thing, I think the joke is, like, men like that. I think is what they're trying to say. But I don't know. <laughs> I, it's just the meme that the internet is going around with. So, such a boring joke. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so glad you don't use TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it a bunch of times. But anyway, I have a history degree, but I don't like to read about or think about war. So, I like to think about, um, what I like to read about and learn about in history is, is more like the average person and what they did in, in the everyday. That fascinates me more so than like, <sighs> conquest. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> uh, we should start working on this build now, huh? Shall we? I think so. I'm gonna drink some water too. Oops, backwards. Okay. Let me show you guys a tour before we get started. This is the kids' room, as you can see. Very cute, full of toys and such things. Lobby, ignore. It's not done and it stresses me out. Bowling alley. Theater. Toilets. Okay, upstairs. Staircase. Vending machines. Ship library. Cafe. Um, this is where the captain is. <laughs> And then down here, we have five uh, duplicate, uh, like, state rooms, guest rooms, um, that are like this. So they're all like that. They have private balconies. Uh, down here, we have a gym. Upstairs, this is what we're gonna work on now. Restaurant, we have a kitchen, this will be the spa. And then we have back here, this is like the fancy uh, suite area. And then on the top deck, we have the pool. We have this cute pool bar sort of vibe with a stage. And then this, I don't know, that could use some work. So we're starting there. <laughs> I think I shall start with the spa actually. Maybe I'll start with the restaurant, I don't know. Kaylin, thank you for the 18 months moon pearl. I'm so excited for you. Um, thank you for doing that. And Andrea and Turk and Sav, thank you so much. All right, let me open another OBS so I can read this. <laughs> All right, recording. Are pets allowed? <laughs> I guess if you want to. Why not? I say go for it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the kitchen first because uh, that part I think is gonna be like, I don't know, the most boring, I guess. I'll switch it into a restaurant so that way we can grab all the things that are necessary. Chef station. I think I'll put it there in the corner. 
I know this is quite long, but I think that's okay. And then waiter station, host station, and we'll get some dining tables and stuff over here. Sounds good to me. Okay. Does that have a name yet? No, we haven't. We have not uh, picked a name for this lot yet or anything. We will. We just haven't yet. Open to suggestions. The lot that we're on is called Sapphire Shores. Um, and I don't know. I think that's not terrible. A lot of cruise ships, like the Royal Caribbean ones, are called like the Oasis of the Seas and stuff like that. So we can maybe think of a name like that too. I don't know. People did talk about calling it the Sea Bourbon, <laughs> which is kind of chaotic, but uh, also a little bit funny, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. All right, I don't really know what I want to do with this yet. Kind of like scaring myself. Oh, how about we get, oh my goodness, there could be like some fish on the wall. Oh, we should use those around the place. That feels right. Okay. And then, can I size this down too? Mm, no. It would be cool if there was a sign for the restaurant though, wouldn't it? Because in real life, they would probably have a sign when you come into the restaurant. And that would be lovely. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think they sell seafood? Ugh. Yuck. Sally, Mary, hey, and Owen, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy, and Kia, and Caitlin. Thank you for the subs. Happy birthday. That's so exciting. Okay. Um, that stuff, sure. Then I can try and get, maybe in this room, I can try to get some fully functional, like maybe if I had some fridges, I'll get a sink, maybe like over here. Maybe we can put a couple counters and a stove too. Not really sure, but we'll see. All right. This, this'll work. I think that we can make this work. Yeah? This building is so big. <laughs> Every time I think about it, I'm like, kind of making myself nervous. Okay, so I wanted to do this with a real shelf because I liked the idea that um, if there was a, or sorry, with a real stove, I mean. I liked the idea that if there was a real stove that your Sims would be able to cook in here even if you didn't have it classed as a restaurant. Does that make sense? I don't know. The flat top stove would look so good here. Yeah, I never used that. You're referring to this. The reason I don't use it is because it's like small. <laughs> you see what I mean? It bothers me a lot. I don't understand why it's not the same size as the other, as the like other stoves and cabinets and stuff. I, it just, it, it's very confusing to me, um, and for that reason, it becomes kind of difficult to use, but. <laughs> I don't know. Dream Home Decorator one? Well, this is, um, I don't think I want to get one of these. I think I would rather just use something from the, one, from the like, cooking stuff. If we can limit packs a little bit, it wouldn't hurt. I don't know. Can't Sims use the cooking station as a stove, though? Maybe, I don't remember. Doesn't hurt to have extra stuff, though, okay? How good would the food stand and pizza oven look in here? Oh, that would be so nice. I am looking forward to that pack so much. <laughs> I'm really, really excited about, about having it and being able to use it for stuff like this. Have I tried the cool kitchen one? Well, I was trying intentionally to not use the cool kitchen stuff because I haven't used cool kitchen anywhere in here and I'm gonna use like literally every single pack ever made. Um, and so I think I'm gonna try to, on purpose, not use Cool Kitchen in, in this room if we can avoid it. You know? Because it's so, like, so many packs already. It's so expensive that it might help to limit a little bit. At least that was my, my initial thought. Okay. 
I think I'll paint this like that. Annoyingly, we probably have to use this everywhere. Already using loads, so may as well. Yeah, but I don't have to change it. I think it what we have so far looks good. So why why bother with trying to switch it up again? I I was pretty happy with what we had, so I might as well just keep it. Okay. Um I do need to put this in here. I kind of forgot about that. Maybe instead of a counter right here, I can have this thing. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Frat and Lives and Con and Azuria. We got uh, IB and Sheldon and Snaily. Thank you for the subs too. Okay. Dine out. Um. I wonder. I'm not exactly sure what it is I am going for with this. In case that wasn't clear, I don't really know what I want at the moment. I don't think I want to do booths. I don't think booth seating is the way. I do kind of like the idea of a fish tank somewhere. We had previously discussed that. So that might be kind of a cute addition. Maybe fancy? Oh, it's gonna be fancy. That part, that's a, that's a given. It will absolutely be fancy. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what tables and chairs I want to use and stuff. It will be fancy though. <laughs> that part you don't need to worry about. Okay. Um. I don't know. It'd be kind of nice to have like... This is going to look bad from the outside, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. Mm. No. Use a fish tank as a divider between some tables. I don't know if I want to have a divider between the tables or not. I'm not really sure. I do think I might use these chairs from the from the pack though, from Dine Out. Okay. So we have to consider the fact that this is gonna be a relatively fancy dining room. So we want to sort of treat it as such. Oh no. Should there be a door out of the dining room or maybe like an archway? This is going to be way harder than I thought. Should you get Island Living in the September Sim sale? Ooh, how much is it on sale for? Um, I don't, it depends. <laughs> a double glass door? I don't know, I kind of like the arch right now. Um, okay. Let's see. Initial thoughts are that maybe... This is sort of like a little... It's 50% off, oh my goodness. I think 50% off is a lovely price for for Island Living. <laughs> I think 50% off is a great price for any anything, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would um I would say that's probably a good number. Oh my god, I'm struggling with this so much. We wanna have the bar, right? Like that's a, a definite is we wanna do the bar. Yeah, the world from Island Living Sulani is just really, really pretty. I feel like, um, no, that's bad. I feel like you can't really go wrong with it. I wanna use that and then I wanna, I wanna have gold accents. You don't think we need another bar? Yeah, but it's a fancy restaurant. So I feel like I quite like the idea of there being another bar because we're trying to embrace that like fancy restaurant vibe. I don't know. I like it. And I think that I like 
specifically I like this bar and how it kind of contributes to the boat vibes on this place. We can try and get some gold accents in here. All right, Star and Laura, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, maybe someone just said the modern Lux kit chairs, and those are actually, I think, really good for this. So maybe I will use those. Use the Desert Lux lights. The Desert Lux lights. I don't know if those are the sort of vibe that I was picturing. I really, I do like these, but I think that they're not as, like, fancy as I was sort of imagining on this. Does that make sense at all? I don't know. Should there be like... No, I think square tables, rectangles are better for this. I'm sorry, it's gonna take me a minute to figure out what I'm going for and then it's gonna be so good. It's just, I'm not really sure yet, so. <laughs> Bear with me, okay? Um, I don't hate this one. Do you think the table, the chairs being quite low is a bad thing? Oh, but I wanna have a matching single tile table probably. And nothing is gonna match that. Hmm. Where did it go? Oh, tables with cloths. Yeah, I realize that tablecloths are probably more realistic. I just like, ick, you know? It's, it's just kinda, it's just kinda ick. Fancier flooring. Well, we closed it off so we can maybe do a different kind of flooring. I'm not really sure what I want out of this, to be honest. Um, I'm recording this right now and I probably shouldn't be because I have absolutely not got a single clue what I'm trying to do with this. And it's probably gonna be a complete and total disaster. <laughs> it's, um, it's very difficult to do this sort of thing when you don't really know what you want out of it, you know? So, the gold line get famous tiles. Ooh, <laughs> I don't like those at all. I'll show you them, but I don't like them. I find them very hard to use. Stop, flooring. I find them like extremely, extremely difficult to use. I just, I just, I don't know. You know what I mean? You agree with the tablecloths? Like you agree that we should have tablecloths or you agree we shouldn't have tablecloths? Because two uh, very opposite sort of answers here. I kind of like this color on the floor. I think that helps. Maybe I can get a different table. I think I like this tile because like Christine says, it's aquatic but it's not overdone. And I think that's lovely. Um, maybe this could be white wood. I don't know. The table situation is, is very difficult. Um, we kind of want to like, I think, pack this full of tables too. Even if they're kind of like close together. <laughs> I think that's kind of realistic, so. The blue chairs from the base game, you think? I really liked the idea of using um, these new chairs with the gold.
tablecloths make it seem more fancy. I mean, obviously you guys, I agree. <laughs> in real life, this probably would have a tablecloth, okay? What I'm trying to say is I think the tablecloths in The Sims are ugly. Do you understand what I mean by that? And they like don't match the chairs and stuff. Like, do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, it just doesn't, it's not working for me. If the tablecloths were more realistic or, or something, it might be different, but they just don't, in my opinion, they don't look good together, so. I know that you seem to really hate that there's no tablecloth, but, but I'm, 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 I have moved past the tablecloth thing, okay? What if we as a group move past the tablecloth thing together? Would that be good? <laughs> okay. I might try and get less lighting in here because I will I will adjust the lights accordingly. Um, you know how in cats and dogs there's like I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we do have some kind of interesting lights from cats and dogs, and I kind of like the idea of bringing them in a little bit in here for like an additional something. I think it's kind of cool, but I don't know. Hmm. Um, we need to have a place, I guess I never put a spot where you would check in. So maybe I'll put this over here and then we can try and get some seats. worse than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, Desert Lux kit. I think that if we add some curtains, it might help. I don't know, what do you think about that? You hate round walls? Yeah, I know, I know. Shannon, there's gonna be outdoor seating. That's the whole, that was the whole idea, yeah. So there will be outdoor seating. That's why I put the restaurant here is because we're gonna have outdoor seating. So don't worry about that. Oh my God. That complicates things so much. Oh, that one slotted just fine. It seems that they don't always want to slot just fine. There we go. Okay, that's a good start. I think the curtains help a lot. Okay, and then over here, um, from again from Dine Out, I keep looking at those thingies and then changing my mind about them, but I like those little wine things. So I kind of want to use them. Ooh, olive oil rack, fancy. No, I'm thinking about these, the executive nectar coolers. <laughs> um, I don't really think that these windows look that good with it, but I guess what could be done is we could raise the windows up because it's only the back. The back of this place is kind of a mess as it is. So maybe you don't have to worry about it too much. And that might be kind of cool to have, is that even lined up correctly? I mean, they could maybe be sized down, but I sort of like them big. That's the default size. I don't know. User Lane, thank you for the 31 months, Aoife and Quinn and Morgan and Star and Lord, thank you so much. Okay. Does Snap still have a bleb face? No, she hasn't been doing it um, since the first night after she got back from her anesthesia. <laughs> so she's, uh, she's doing better, she's doing better. Not as much to make fun of her for anymore. Okay. I was gonna look at music. Maybe this little guy? Eh, someone said it would be good, but I don't know if I like it in there. 
Those bottles are huge. Well, that's the default size. <laughs> that's just what they come like. I don't know. Maybe a piano? Oh, that's interesting. I think it's too tight in here for that. Hi, Shanna. Oh, did she? Oh no. Poor Frank. She doesn't deserve this. Yeah, I think that a piano is gonna be a little bit too tight. On the balcony? Uh... Uh... <laughs> I don't know about that, we'll see. We will see. Okay. Um, I think a little bit of a table here would be good. Standing piano? Yeah, but what am I gonna do? Put it up against the windows? Come on. Come on. Um, I guess I'm using a lot of gold, so maybe I could use this in here. I wonder if this fits anywhere. I guess probably not really, because I have the fish tank instead. A stage? No, there's already a stage upstairs. <laughs> Guys, we don't need to have a stage in here too. It's all very good ideas, but it's not that big, okay? <laughs> so let's let's keep our expectations reasonable. Um, okay. All right, I'm liking that, I think. So you would check in over there. And then I guess I can put another plant in the corner. Stage in every room. <laughs> no, it's not a bad idea. I just, um, I'm starting to reach a point where like, I've spent so much time on this build and we've, we've thought about every single possibility to such an extreme degree <laughs> that like, I don't even, there's, there's not much more space, A, because we already figured out the floor plan for everything. But B, like, I'm, I'm simply not uh, open to, to changing things at this point in time, you know, like. <laughs> okay, I don't know if having umbrellas like this on a boat is a good idea, but it might be nice difficult layout for serving oh my god <laughs> ah, okay i can't change that friend i don't know what to tell you i know you said it didn't matter but <laughs> i don't know what to tell you it's just a pretend sims build um it's probably not even going to be a functional restaurant okay um, you can go there, you can go there, you can go there. Now scoot it forward just a bit. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if the umbrellas are a bad idea or not. I'm starting to think they are. But wouldn't it be so cute if we had some? Um, maybe like that. And then we can maybe do like two more smaller tables without umbrellas. Is there even a glass table that is a circle? You can't even match that. Oh my, this game is like, really something else, isn't it? <laughs> I guess that could be kind of cute. It's okay if they're very close together. I feel like, in my opinion, them being very close together is kind of realistic. Because you got to think about how many people are probably on a, at least on a real life cruise ship, there's probably so many people. So, we need a lot of seating. Okay. 
You like them and they're secured to the table so no issues at all. Yeah, exactly. They only put the umbrellas up when the boat is docked and the boat is docked right now. So it's fine. I kind of like that. We have umbrellas up here. If we have umbrellas up here, then what's the harm of having umbrellas down there? There's no issue. We've already used umbrellas. Bowling lane to simulate shuffleboard? Oh, friend, we already have a whole bowling alley. I already did that. <laughs> I'm like four steps out of you. We've got an entire bowling alley now. <laughs> Jordan, Andy, Alessandro, Mysteria, thank you for the subs. Maybe some lifeboats. You know, Corgi, um, we actually, the first day that we worked on this build, we had a, a lot of discussion about the lifeboat situation and like whether or not that was something that we should add. Like we were kind of unsure about the necessity of it and, and whether we should bother. Um, and sort of the final consensus after a lot of messing around with options was that all of the fake things we were trying looked really ugly. <laughs> like every single fake lifeboat variant we tried, super weird. And it, it just like, it's a fake ship. So we sort of decided that um, it wasn't really worth the energy to, to try and add in was kind of what we had discussed, so. Um, okay. What I'm going to do is put this thing. I want to try and have a hole underneath the stairs. So give me a sec. I'll make it work. And then I will put this staircase right here. And then I will delete the floor. Oh no, she doesn't want to work the way I want it to. Please? Can I? Why don't I remember how I did this before? I think I have, if you use like a fence, it works, right? But you can't put a fence on it, so. I'm funny, please laugh. What did you say? Now I'm scared, Shella. I didn't see it. Marissa, Jordan, thank you for the subs. <laughs> oh, the ship has already sailed. Yeah, yeah, I've made that joke about 5,000 times since we started doing this. <laughs> Maybe I could build a wall. What if there was a wall? No, there can't be a wall. Oh, that works. Why do you think you're outside? It's a fascinating question. Um, any, any thoughts on that? Any thoughts on that? hole in the roof? No, I mean, there, there's a full roof up here. It might be because of the round walls. So we have to say never mind on that idea. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Unfortunately, I would like for it to, but it's not going to. Um... Is there a pool on the water? Um, you ever seen a cruise ship? Google a cruise ship. They've got pools on cruise ships. There's no ceiling on the section where the stairs are, so things it's a hole to the outside. Yeah, but I, I mean, I've been doing that. It's the same thing here, and it doesn't think this is the outside, so I don't really understand the difference, but it's okay. Doesn't really matter. All right, we do need to get some outdoor lighting up here, I think. Some sort of, I guess I could use the same things that I was using down here. They have candles, I guess. That's a good start. Okay, we'll begin with that.
string lights. No, I don't know if I want to put string lights because I don't want to like, to, I know that the, the already the umbrellas are a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I think that if we tried to use string lights, it would take it a little bit too far. <laughs> I think that we gotta, we gotta be reasonable about this. So I think the string lights are, are too permanent. At least you can take the umbrellas down when the ship is sailing, but string lights might be too much. Um, okay, I'm gonna look at spa day stuff now because we're gonna move into the spa area. I've been really enjoying using in all of these different sections, like sort of dedicated doors um, that are like fitting to the theme on purpose. So I kind of like the thought of trying to have a fancy dedicated spa door to enter into this spa room. And it's very okay with me if all this stuff has like sort of, um, I don't know, different vibes, I guess, in, in the individual rooms. Like, I'm totally okay with the bowling alley being a completely different vibe than the spa. I think that's normal. So that's kind of what I'm going for with this. Does that make sense? Um, I guess, I don't know if I want to use that or not. I think the bowling alley is very relaxing. <laughs> Um, you know, that's a really interesting way of putting it. What a, what a, what a fascinating way to describe it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a floating mini mall. They each have like very uh, specific vibes, each of the rooms. It's kind of cool. Okay. Um, that has visible glass in it that you can see through which is like maybe totally not the vibes but I never use that spot a door and maybe it's okay if you can see through it like maybe it's fun that you can see through it you know thoughts on that <laughs> it's a little bit frosted so it could be worse but so basically my idea, right, is that you would come in here, you would shower, and then you would go use the rest of the spa facilities. So we want to make sure that we have appropriate things. I don't think I like these guys. I was going to do it, but it's actually not speaking to me anymore. So I've changed my mind. The doors are not aligned. Um, I did it on purpose because I like how it looks from the outside is it is it a problem because I kind of liked it mm, just one no maybe the small one I don't know this I'm it's bothering me I don't know what I want. Oh, we do need to have lockers. Oh, I guess I didn't really think about that. Maybe I should do lockers instead of the fish tank. I do like the fish tank, but I also think that lockers would be good. Ooh. Maybe you enter and there's like fancy stuff on the floor or something. I don't know, guys. I'm obviously just throwing out ideas here. I haven't got a clue what I want this to be like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, oh, there isn't really a spot to... Wash your hands. Well, okay, what if we switch this up? And what if there's only one toilet and then we do some like slightly more public showers? What if it was kind of dim? Oh, I'm going to mess with the lighting. Don't worry. I, I just haven't done it yet. We're going to mess with the lighting for sure and try and make it kind of cool in here. Um, I just haven't done it yet because I just have a bunch of random lights placed from earlier when I was throwing them everywhere. Um, but what if we use like... these showers. Um, and then maybe 
I this is what I did in the build that I just finished the big giant one that was um like a ski resort I used this sort of thing and then I did a divider in it maybe it was like a city living divider I'm not sure but I used oh no it was dine out that's what it was I used this dine out divider in between the showers in the build that I just finished, and I actually thought it was kind of good. That might be kind of cool. Public showers make you uncomfortable. I mean, this is like, it's very specifically like for the spa. Does that help at all? Maybe? Maybe some curtains, the shower curtains. No, so the idea is that we we aren't gonna um, put, oh, you can see right in there. <laughs> um, that's fine. The idea is that we, we weren't gonna do a shower curtain on purpose. Um, like you would just come in here if you were using the spa. I don't think you guys appreciate the vision enough. It's kind of sad. You don't, you don't, you don't see it. There's no respect for the vision here. I don't really care. I like the glass door. I'm putting it back. You guys can't stop me. I preferred this layout. I thought it was good, so. Too bad. <laughs> I like it, so I'm just gonna keep it. It's the Sims. It doesn't really matter. All is well, all is fine. Okay, Raven, thanks for the 24 months. And Jenny, thank you for the subs too. Um, I don't know. Yeah, they get pixelated when they shower anyway. I imagine like for a second that when they get pixelated while they shower, it's it's like even even more than that than you think. Like they, it's pixelated in real life too. So it's not just pixelated for us, it's pixelated for everybody. So no one, no one sees anything they don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, I don't know yet. Um, I haven't saved the game yet today either. No, the Sims don't get embarrassed with those public showers, Kaylee. It's the same as the university ones. There is no embarrassment on these. Both both this one from Snowy Escape and this one from University, they don't get embarrassed on. Because you use these showers. These are the showers that come by default with Snowy Escape in the in the onsen. So your, your Sims shower in front of people in there too. Um, it's perfectly normal. <laughs> Even if uh, Twitch chat doesn't want you to believe it. <laughs> and we can imagine, right, like you guys, we can pretend that they're maybe in a swimsuit or something. Like it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, horse ranch. I think I will put wood all in this little thing. I think that's cool. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. You can get your nails done in here. Island living stone in the sauna. Oh, I guess we could do that. I don't know. I always kind of forget about that item. Where is it? Here. It's kind of like... I just... The problem with it is that I don't like it. <laughs> I kind of prefer the full wood, just because this is like sort of ugly to me. <laughs> I say with love. I don't know. There's something about that one that just I never use it for a reason. All right, uh, little bird and Grace, thank you for the subs. Maybe I could do the fish tank in here because it'll fit like perfectly in this little corner. Yeah, the stones would be really hot, wouldn't they? That would probably be not good. Um, logo. 
something like this. I was thinking about trying to grab this thing. Full wood saunas are the most authentic. Exactly. See, you get it. Um, okay. This will be a nice spot to get your nails done, right? Skipping Titanic, you think? <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that. I know it looks kind of like the Titanic, maybe a little bit, but... Is it like... Is it like bad enough that we should be worried? It is a boat, so there's that. Um, I don't know if there should be music playing in here, but I'm just gonna let them have some. The Titanic was a lovely ship. <laughs> the Titanic was a beautiful boat, okay? All right, um, I'm thinking that I would like to get some sort of I think it would be fun to have some fancy lights above each of these. I don't know. What do you think? Reminds you of the Queen Mary. I actually was using the Queen Mary and also a uh, Disney cruise ship as like references when I was building the exterior. So <laughs> it reminding you of the Queen Mary that uh, that does check out because <laughs> I was looking at a picture of it when I built this. <laughs> okay. Um. How about that? Disney adult? Okay, no, they're just nice looking ships. Look at a Royal Caribbean ship covered in ridiculous slides everywhere. And then think, how am I gonna try and recreate that in The Sims? Disney ships, I think have slides on them too, but they have that like nice dark base to them instead of just being all white, so. Anyway. Um, okay, I think, oh, you know what? I need to just paint the walls plain in this hallway up here too. Um, and look at all the other stuff. Put the dine-out plant with the leaves. Um, like the wall plant? I do like that dine-out wall plant. Is that what you mean? I wasn't really picturing myself using that, but that might be kind of cute. Is this what you're referring to? That does kind of have like spa vibes a little bit. Um, you guys, we were looking at the bamboo earlier, but we were kind of struggling with where to put it. So <laughs> I don't know how many of you uh, were here when we were first going through that, but we were trying all kinds. I was like trying to put bamboo here. It was looking really weird. We've been through a lot today. <laughs> We've been through a lot with this build, honestly. I'm kind of, um, I'm like this close to giving up on it, so. Some sort of water feature? Best of you already have that. I'm like four steps ahead of you. That's what this thing in the back is. It's a giant water feature actually, even better. The whole wall is water. Um, okay. I don't know if I wanna use like the gray spa day tile or what in here. I don't really like it. I think that we need some more wood somewhere and we need like, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to use this as my inspiration, but it's a little bit ugly. Maybe the wood on the back wall could be nice. Um, I don't know. Maybe, let me look at other spa day stuff. Wood on the back wall is good. Okay, that makes me feel better then. Glad to hear it. I like the little logos. That helps add some color in. Um, box for trinkets. Thank you for the sub. Maybe we could get just like a chair or two. 
Maybe like one chair. Can't really go wrong with one chair. Do it like that. Okay. I don't think I'm liking this tile, so maybe I'll just use plain white instead. And that should be okay. Um, we're gonna need some serious adjustments to be made in here. <laughs> this part looks weird. Maybe I could bring the tile up the wall. Of course, this doesn't come in the same wood tones, so that's inconvenient. Hmm. I could put it on a platform, maybe? Because that way we can have a little bit more difference in the space. I don't know. Does it even come in the same color? No. No. That'll probably do. Maybe there could be wood in the main entrance of this space. And then there's tile up there and then tile on the rest. Don't know. I don't know. Deadly kitten, thanks for the 28 months. Oh my goodness. Or sunken for water spill. Oh, we can't really sink it though, can we? Because of the floors. Yeah, we've got too many, like there's too many rooms happening. So we can't really do that because of all the floors below us. Um, I'll put some fancy drains on it. You guys are like picking the absolute worst time to care about realism. <laughs> let me have fun, okay? <laughs> let, just let me have this. Okay, um, let's get some little drains for the people because they're, they're really stressed out. So we can get some, some bigger ones to cover the ones that are there by default. Okay, good start. Um, okay. Maybe, I guess columns perhaps. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, imagine the floor is sloped. There you go, the floor is sloped. Exactly, it's fine. It's totally fine. Floor Lotus is so bright. Yeah, I don't know if I can change the uh, brightness on it. I need to bring a sim here again because I forgot to bring Stanley with me when I started building this today. So I need to bring a sim with me again to mess with it, but. Um, we can, we can try and make it less bright. All right, maybe the bathroom clutter kit. Okay, I feel good about this, I think. Uh, this is just a toilet. Maybe they can have their bamboo in here. Something like the spa day stuff. Oh my God, this, the list of packs has grown so substantially. <laughs> I wonder if we could put any of these weird egg things around somewhere or something. We need to try and get some more like little decor in places. <laughs> we're, running, uh, we're running low on decor everywhere. Surprised there's no bookcase door or cat cafe. Oh, there is a cafe with a shocking lack of cats in it, to be honest. <laughs> but we do have a cafe in this build. All right. The plant does look like a deviled egg. I've always thought that too. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Okay. Um, I don't really know why you would need more robes over here, but I'm gonna get some. I'll put some along this wall. We've already decided, we've um, we've decided that we don't need to worry about having open flames on this ship. Obviously in real life, okay, in real life, we probably don't wanna have random 
open flames everywhere. Thankfully, this is not real life. It is instead The Sims 4. And in The Sims 4, open flames are no problem, is what we have learned. So, um... <laughs> I miss painting a wall on the nail salon. There's one right there, is that what you mean? Imagine that the candles, okay, imagine for a second, the candles, they're not actually on fire. The candles, they're like those little pretend one, I deleted it by accident. You wanna put windows into the pool from in here? I don't know, we talked about that. We had windows into the pool originally from uh, inside the spa. And we decided that we didn't really like it because I thought that it looked weird, like with just the one, because it wasn't, I don't know. We, we did talk about that. That was the, um, that was the whole like original plan when we first started the, the build, but kind of has changed ever since then to be a little bit more, I don't know. Just uh, less less windowy, I guess. The windows are only on the outside. <laughs> you think it's creepy putting windows in? I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily creepy. I can see why you might think that. I'm gonna use two different kinds of magazines. You can read a magazine while they uh, do your toenail polish. How about that? Is there a master bedroom? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it a master bedroom. Okay, what it is is like a suite, and then there's like smaller hotel rooms also. Um, but I think when you call it like a master bedroom, it almost implies that it's a house and it is not. <laughs> um, it's, it, there is like a suite space though. Uh, and that's what this is going to be. I obviously haven't finished it yet, but people on the massage can see other people swimming. Kind of weird, I'd say. Well, they can't. So you're in luck. <laughs> Uh, Yoda, Doodle, and, and Lex, and Donovan, thank you for the subs. Okay. Feeling pretty good about this little spa area, I think. One thing that I have not done, and I kind of forgot about, I need to put light, or like some sort of wallpaper in here in the kitchen. And then, I don't know what to do on this balcony. Cause this balcony is like the little, um, this is off of the kitchen. So it like almost belongs to the crew. So uh, maybe I'll just duplicate this table again. So it looks okay from the ups, from the outside. Maybe the chef's table is here. Oh, that's interesting. We can pretend that, you know how sometimes on like these fancy places, you can go to like the chef's table. Maybe they do it here on this balcony. Um, smoking area for employees? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm not sure that, <laughs> I know we just put candles, but I don't know if smoke and boat go well together. <laughs> The candles make you say or pretend, but... Oh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> Wasn't there in real life a big fire on a cruise ship because of a cigarette that got dropped? I need to... I feel like I've heard about that. Yeah, in 2006. No, oh my god. This is like extreme damage on the boat. Did anybody get hurt in this? <gasps> yes, a lot of people were hurt in this. Oh my God, I won't show it. But yeah, that's happened in real life. So no smoking <laughs> on a cruise ship, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Yikes. 2006 and you remember this? How old are you? Oh, I'm, uh, I was born in 1999. I don't know if I remember it actually happening in real life, but I remember hearing about it. Um, I guess probably as an adult, but, um, okay. 
I think I'll get some plants on these. Well, I guess I'll put it here then, I don't know. I think that's subtle. Simple, subtle, that's okay. Um, on these balconies in the front, a lot of you guys might not like this, but <laughs> um, what I was going to do is, so you know how in real life on these boats, like, oh my god, why do I keep rotating that badly? In real life on these boats, they have like, obviously the same balconies just duplicated over and over again. My thought is that I would just do the same thing on both levels of this. Yeah. Still doing the ship. I know, Kaylee. We're we're getting there. We're almost done. Well, not quite, but we're we are getting there. Well, we actually we have this room and this hallway left to do, and then like some finishing touches. So we actually are almost done. I would argue. Um. Grab all of those. Wouldn't that be so nice to go sit out on? I kind of love it. Unless, would it be better to leave it open, like more of a pretend promenade deck? I guess we have this being a pretend promenade deck, don't we? I don't know. I don't know. I think the last door should be wide windows instead because you can enter the suite from the balcony and I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, so Lo, this is one of those times where I'm gonna have to really ask you guys to drop the realism part for a second because I don't want to use windows that look different from all of the rest of the windows along the whole place, okay? Um, I would prefer, for me, in an ideal world, I would prefer that they just look all the same. Obviously, uh, it's The Sims 4, like, we don't have, we can't, like, close it up, like, a door or anything, or, like, a, a window instead and have it still look the same. Pretend it's locked. I don't know. Um, I could put a wall, but I don't really care to do that. I think that we're being a little bit dramatic about this, okay? <laughs> From certain angles, there's gonna be a wall, and then, I don't know. If it bothers you that much, I was just gonna say ignore it, but if it bothers you that much, we can, we can pretend a little bit, okay? Um, I don't know if I like how this looks anymore. The ensuite has three balconies now. <laughs> Wine bottles sticking through the wall in the restaurant. Oh, they are. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize that they were that deep. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um... Maybe I'll think about the hallway then first. This hallway is gonna have to be very simple. I was thinking about doing, uh, maybe I will have this have nothing on it then, I don't know. But I was thinking about doing some of the stuff that we had done down here, kind of like this with the eco lifestyle things. I was thinking about mimicking that. I don't know. Hmm. This is like very complicated. I do love this fish thing. Maybe I could try and find a spot for the fish thing downstairs. I would love to size it up. I think that would be so cool. Like when you first walk in, but then I need to think about the bathroom again. <sighs> okay, uh, let's go into debug. D, thank you for the five months. PB dot show hidden objects. Okay. Okay. Um, not debug actually, I just need chairs. No, they're not complaining, Rose Gold. Uh, people just have a lot of ideas. Um, and sometimes uh, they're ideas that are kind of like conflicting with what I already have, so I get nervous. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but no one, no one, ha no one's like um, complaining about the build or anything. They're all being perfectly reasonable. They're just excited. So it's just hard because a lot of times they they didn't know that we spent like you know hours and hours and hours deciding on this thing already, <laughs> and then they suggested that we we change it or something, and then we're like, but oh no, <laughs> I already settled on this. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm very accustomed to it. Okay. You just spilt water all over your bed, Tilly. Well, good job. <laughs> the prophecy has been fulfilled. We were joking the other day about how Tilly is very likely to spill. If anyone here was gonna like spill coffee all over their bed, we were like, you know, it'd probably be Tilly. And unfortunately for Tilly, <laughs> unfortunately for Tilly, um, we have just uh, jinxed it. <laughs> okay, um, um. No, friend, Jupiter, no one said that anyone was being mean by asking a question with nice words. <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> They're being very nice. Everyone's being very nice. It's just like I'm getting like 50 different suggestions about things that we already picked, so we're just trying to move on. That's all that's happening, okay? It's okay. <laughs> all right, deep breath, drink some water. I think this build is starting to get to all of us because it's been so long. But everyone is uh, being very kind, just has lovely suggestions. They're just trying to help. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want to get maybe some of these again. I think I'll just put this down the middle instead of like risking putting stuff on the floor because the hallway is already quite tight. We'll just put some plants down the middle. And we'll call it like that. Do we have a telescope yet? Actually, no, we don't have a telescope. Um, I think we talked about putting one over here. But I don't know. I feel okay about this. Oh my goodness, my dad is asking me questions about buying a PC and getting recommendations. <laughs> I'm streaming, dad! <laughs> I'm busy! <laughs> hey, Christelle and Nell and Dee, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, restaurant's a good idea. Yeah, we have a class. It, this can be class to so many things. Watch, it, it's a restaurant right now. It can be a bar. Uh, it can be a cafe. <laughs> it can be a gym, probably. Yeah, it can be a gym. Um, it can be a lounge. <laughs> it could honestly probably be a museum. There's no easel, so no museum. It can be a nightclub, I bet. Yeah, it can be a nightclub. Um, <laughs> it probably can't be the bathhouse because we don't have a thingy, but it can be a pool. Oh, I don't have a pool ladder. Never mind. Can't be a pool. I'm not going to get a pool ladder. It can be a spa. It can be a restaurant. I think I'm gonna maybe upload it as a rec center though. But I'm not sure yet. Lounge probably also makes the most sense like functionally gameplay wise, but again, not 100% sure what I should do just yet. What, I was using these lights, okay. Can it be a wedding venue? No, cause there's not any wedding stuff here and I'm not gonna put any wedding stuff here cause we've already filled like all the rooms. So we can't go in and add wedding venue stuff now at this point, because we're a little bit too far gone for that, I think, unfortunately. Okay. Um, Dad, I really believe that you can learn how to use a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I, I know you're still listening. I know that you're very anti-mouse and keyboard. I get it. But I, I really honestly do believe that you can learn how to use a mouse and keyboard for gaming over a controller and you'll have a better and uh, more pleasant experience. Honest, I, I think it'll be a good thing. You've never even tried. <laughs> 
I think that it would be for the best if you if you actually gave it a shot. Um, oh, those are the wrong color still, aren't they? It's impossible, he says. No, Dad, it's not impossible. You just haven't tried. You don't even actually use a PC. If you, like, laptops, if you're thinking about, like, trying to play a game on a laptop, because that's most of your experience is using a laptop, uh, using, like, a trackpad and a laptop keyboard is significantly more difficult than using an actual PC and keyboard. You're not too old to learn how to use a mouse and keyboard, Dad. <laughs> I, I really, really mean it. It's, you're gonna, you can do it. You can do it, okay? <laughs> Use a trackpad and you hate it. Oh, trackpads are really difficult, I think. Um, that's, that is brutal for sure, trying to use a trackpad, but. Okay, um. You guys, this room is a really weird shape. I'm kind of scaring myself with it. Okay, how about this concept? There could be like a little couch space area that looks directly outside, maybe. Do I have more one bedrooms? Yeah, there's five bedrooms downstairs. <laughs> this one is like the suite, the fancy room. There's five rooms downstairs. This is the big fancy one. Um, I don't know if I can split it up into like a, a bed being in a separate room though, just because of how it's shaped and where the windows are. Like with this door, I can't really cut it as the way I want to. We could probably get an entryway and that might be cute. Honestly, that could be like a improvement to what we had before. Um. I don't know, maybe then if there was like, well, I'm struggling so much. <laughs> this is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be for me. Okay. Um, little entry, they'll have like storage in there and stuff like that. And then the bed. Maybe I can try and get the bed lined up directly with the water. Maybe that could be a better use of the space. Um, maybe we can try and do, I did this before in one of my more recent builds where we made like a fake built-in headboard by doing it like this. And that might be the way to go. Maybe they can have a view of the ocean from their couch just over here instead. Maybe. This is a huge room. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. That's okay. It's all fun. How long does an average cruise last? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I Probably anywhere from like three days to a week. They do short cruises that are like three days long and they do week long cruises, so. I bet three to seven days, depending. Maybe five to seven days is more common. I don't know. Kitchenette. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, but isn't it such a weird shape? This is like extremely difficult. <laughs> this is the second time that I've like tried to dedicate time to this room and I keep struggling with it so much. Three days is definitely short for a cruise, but I'm speaking as a uh, as like a person who is local to Port Canaveral and a lot of local people that I know go on like short weekend three-day cruises and they just go to like the Caribbean and they'll like stop at 
like one place and then come straight back. So that's like, that's a lot of my experience with like the people that I know. If you're traveling somewhere, probably to go on a cruise, you would, you would probably go on a bigger, longer cruise. So, um, but anyway, I'm from my local experience, <laughs> a lot of people do short weekend cruises sometimes. Yeah, I don't think they need a kitchenette either, because this is like a fancy hotel suite, so they could just call up room service if they wanted to, I think, you know? Um, okay, we'll do some cool built-ins around the bed, probably. Three days sounds long for you. Yeah, I can see that. Are most cruises all inclusive? Yeah, usually, um, usually with cruises, like the food is completely provided. Um, you would pay, like they make their money off of drinks. Like they sell like big drink, extra drink packages and stuff, but your food is included in the cost of the cruise for the most part. Um, okay. You like the idea of bookshelves? That might be cute. Little dining slash game table. Yeah, that might be cute too. You went on a 10 day cruise and it was way too long. I bet that would be too much for me, I think. <laughs> I can see that, I can totally see that. Mm, ugly. Um, game table, friends, bunk beds. I don't know if I wanna put another bed in here. I was thinking of this as, I need to bring a sim so I can change the lighting. I was thinking of this as being more like, um, like fancy honeymoon suite than like a group is coming here together sort of situation. Cause I, I liked the idea of, um, of like, if you had a family that was coming, you can just use the other bedrooms. You could like rent three of the hotel rooms, but I think I like it like this. Just one fancy room, romantic, if you will. I don't know. This is hard. <laughs> An hour long ferry ride is enough for you? You don't think you could sleep on a boat? That's so interesting to hear. I have so many people have said um, in my chat this week, like while we've been working on this, that they could never go on a cruise. It's like the general consensus is this is the worst thing imaginable and I would never do it. <laughs> Which is just so interesting to me, because I, I guess I can see it. I can see why, but um, I never thought of it as that bad. <laughs> okay, I want to have a TV. Um, this is getting kind of annoying, because I feel like there's not a good wall for it. Which is sort of starting to bug me. And I can't really swap it in there either. Um, no, maybe they don't need a TV. Maybe a TV is like boring, you know? Put a wall at the end of the bed. No, I don't want to do that because I like the idea of the bed having a view of the ocean. Like I've put the bed here on purpose. I don't think they need a TV because they have the ocean. I think they'll be fine. Um, okay. If the bed faces out the other window. Yeah, that was like an initial thought that I had was to basically make this into like a little bit of a hallway and separate it some more, but I don't really think that I want to do that. I don't think that's for me. I'm sorry. We can pretend the TV is in the ceiling. There you go, that's a cute idea. Now you're onto something. <laughs> um, well, Rafi, so it's, it's not so much that like we don't wanna put a TV because we don't like how they look. So like your TV looks like a painting idea. It's, it's not like a painting TV is gonna solve it. The issue is that there isn't any wall space for it. I saw someone say to put it above the bed, but I don't really think that we should put a TV above the bed. So, I don't know. We don't need to have a TV in there. It's really okay. 
they can handle it without one, I think. I haven't painted the ceilings yet, no, Taco, but we will do that. We're not going to do that till the end, though. Um, for the size of that room, they should get one. Yeah. Yeah, they can watch the ocean, though. They'll be fine. <laughs> They'll enjoy their lovely ocean view. Whether they, whether they want to or not, they have to. <laughs> Too bad. You have no choice but to like it. Okay, I like the idea of a little palm tree there. That's kind of cute. Um, okay, so I wanted to change the lighting. I was gonna... Hello? Oh, it's lagging. I was gonna turn these off. They're more there as decoration than anything. Do I plan on finishing this today? Victoria, I really, really hope so. <laughs> I so, so badly want to finish this today. If I don't, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> that is that is the goal, is that we could finish this today. I guess it's possible the TV could go over here, but that is kind of, um, I don't know. Why is Stanley so angry? He's a, this version of Stanley is a werewolf, so. Okay, new idea. Let's just remove that. Let's not make ourselves worry about it, okay? And the new plan is to get the TV over here. Interesting thought. Fireplace! <laughs> you know, you know, I would say, and now I, I could be wrong about this, but I, I would say that maybe a fireplace on this boat <laughs> maybe seems dangerous. <laughs> they could get a fake one. We could pretend it was fake. We're really picking and choosing here today with what we say is fake and what we say isn't. Aren't we? But it would be kind of cute though. Um, should I just have this be off a little bit? Pretty sure Titanic had fireplaces. Oh my god. That is a- the idea of a fireplace on a ship, even if we're joking, is so horrifying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They have a TV so they can watch the fireplace channel. They're fine. They're fine. Um... For many, many reasons, Titanic is not the inspo. Um, you know, Christine, I think you're right. <laughs> no, sorry, what are the reasons that we're not using the Titanic as inspiration? I, I'm... What's the, what's the issue with the Titanic as inspiration? I don't... It's a lovely boat. What's the problem? I'm sorry to tell you this, but cruise ships definitely have fireplaces. Are you sure? On a majority of cruise lines, health and safety laws ban open flames in kitchens, with the exception of creme brulee torches. On this cruise line, they have electric pretend fireplaces. That's different. <laughs> when it ju that just looks like a fireplace, basically. Okay. Cute. What should I put in this little corner? Maybe I'll get another chair over here.
Mm, probably a different kind though. Anything from Dream Home Decorator. Mm, this one. That seems lovely, okay. And then I'll put another one of those over here. Okay, cute, sure. Sure. Vanity or bookshelves? Well, I already have the desk. I'm okay with the idea of bookshelves, I think. Maybe they can have a spot for, no, they already have coat racks there. Oh my God. Easel, please. Guys, I don't really understand the, the easel obsession. I, can I be honest with you for a second? I've seen so many people spamming about adding an easel in. Have you ever been on a hotel that has an easel? Am I missing something? Like, oh, you're talking about because of the Titanic and, and the drawing, aren't you? I get it. No, easels aren't required for the rec center lot type. Oh my God, we just talked about this. <laughs> I can give the, I can give them a telescope. That's gonna be fine. Okay. Um, I'll paint all these walls white. Dresser? Yeah, I guess a dresser and a mirror above it would be cute. Okay. Yay, so Sims can die on their honeymoon. <laughs> That is exactly why I put the, um, why I put that there. So I'm glad we're on the same page. Kitchenette is a good idea. Yeah, no, so we talked about the kitchenette thing. Um, and we decided that because on like a fancy ship like this, right? Realistically, they would have like room service and all these different ways to get food. And, and you could like, if you're staying in the most expensive suite, you could probably just get someone to bring you your coffee and like those sorts of things. So I think I'm leaning towards no kitchenette and no mini fridge just because I'm trying to like really embrace the extreme degree of fancy that I'm envisioning this place being, you know? Okay, I will use these again on the back. Or, well, I was thinking about putting a table and I guess I didn't give them a table before, so we can have this table again. I wanna like give reasons to force them to come outside of the room basically, you know? Here, we can eat our room service on the balcony now, like a little date. That's nice. Okay. Okay, let's think about last minute touches upstairs because we still have so much to figure out in here. This room, um, maybe I could get like, oh my God, I wanted this table. I think I missed painting a wall, uh-oh, uh-oh. Somewhere in the suite. Oh yeah, next to this. Okay. That's all painted. I think that's good. Like how we have an area for kids, but no kid bed. Yeah, this was a big uh, uh, topic of discussion when I was doing the kids room. So here's the deal. <laughs> kids can sleep in any bed. <laughs> um, and kind of my, my vision, okay. Um, was that I was imagining that, and obviously it's not, and I'm not gonna change it, okay? So we're on the same page, we're not changing it. I was pretending in real life, this would probably be a pullout bed. Yes, there are Murphy beds in The Sims. No, the colors don't match, they look bad, I already tried it. Um, so we're not gonna put Murphy bed, but we can pretend the kids can have a pullout pull out bed there. And if you actually came here with your kids, they can just sleep in like a second guest room, you know? Um, but in real life, you don't have like kids beds all over, the, all over the place in hotels. And even if you did, like they might have cribs that you can borrow from them, but they wouldn't have them like set up pre in the room. You know, you would like 
they would ask them at the hotel and then they would, they would do it for you. So um, this is more realistic hotel purposes. Does that make sense? Um, they might have like cots that you could borrow and stuff like that. And babies in The Sims can sleep on the floor. Exactly, I didn't even think about it like that. Well, there you go. <laughs> forgot the wall next to the coat thingy. Okay, I missed another wall. I forgot this wall. I might put a cute thing on it. Yeah, you can also bring cribs with you, with your Sims, um, if you so desire. Because they have like click and draggable ones in your Sims inventories now. Yeah, Lo, I noticed that they did when I was uh, copying them. I was hoping that none of you would have noticed because then I wouldn't have to change it, but <laughs> I noticed that these were, I never updated these before when I changed the colors. I was just hoping that no one else was gonna remember that I said that, so I wouldn't have to do it, but you did, <laughs> so I'll fix it, it's fine. Yeah, some cruise ships also have bunk beds that pull out from the ceiling, that's true, I've seen that before. Um, okay doesn't take that long. I was being really dramatic. <laughs> this build's just taken me so long that I'm like, <laughs> I've, I've uh, reached a point where I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> it's gone too far. The Sims has taken it too far this time. Okay. Out the ceiling. Yeah, let me see if I can find a picture. They would like pull it down and, and secure it the folding bed appropriately um, and then get it all set up for you. But some of the rooms in cruise ships would have beds like this sort of thing. You see how it's like in this, it's like coming out of the wall. So they would get it so that it would fold down for you and be all set up and then the kids could sleep there. Obviously cruise rooms are very small. This one has no window, it's an interior room. All the rooms in this ship are very fancy <laughs> and they all have balconies, but anyway. Ours are a little bit fancier than that, so we're not gonna have any of that in this one. Did I put robes in the spa showers? There are robes everywhere in the spa, Cherry, don't worry. We got a bunch of them. We have got a whole bunch of them. Okay, I'm trying to think about Perhaps some kind of fun artwork. I'm okay with using the same art four times. I don't even care. Oh, I had some trash cans in the build. There are trash cans around. We've got some on the balconies and outside even. There's trash cans in places. Okay. Um, maybe this could go out here next to that. All right. Did I use the new ceiling paint? No, we haven't used any ceiling paint yet, but I am gonna get ceiling paint. I just haven't, I haven't picked any ceiling paint yet. Um, okay. Should I just do plants on these? I might like to have little plants on these instead of anything too fancy. Alert, save game. I probably should, you're right. Okay, <laughs> Banana, thank you for the 19 months. It does match the color scheme, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Was that a bowling alley on a ship? It sure was. We tried to have a lot of fun activities for your Sims to do if they came to the cruise. That was kind of the thought process at least. Um, and I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, um, I might get a couple additional tables over here. I like the idea of there being some more seating. That would be lovely. And then I can get those same candles again. Because what we really need is more candles, obviously, duh. I'm kind of, I'm, Feeling a little bit unsure about how much additional clutter to add. And then the last thing is we have to rethink this whole area because the, the entrance I haven't really figured out yet, so. The idea of a pool on a cruise ship is so funny to you. Yeah, people keep talking about that. Um, it's very normal. Like, 
pools are on cruise ships constantly. And they, if you guys think that I have a lot of chairs around the pool on our ship, you should see like the real life ones. Look at this, how they've just like piled up chairs. This happens so often. There's like such an outrageous number of chairs around the cruise ship pool because they just put them like all over the entire top deck. I don't know if you can see this like sea of chairs, but like it's everywhere. <laughs> the pool isn't usually very big um, on the ship, but it, it would be a pool. The main thing on a ship is a pool. Yeah, people that go on cruises, I think that like being able to use the pool is kind of a, a huge selling point for them. That's like the main reason they want to go on the ship, so. Okay, I don't, we have to think about this. I have tried so many different things with this stupid lobby. I really don't know what I want it to be like. We tried a million different floorings. We tried marbles, we tried all kinds of stuff. Um, this bathroom is kind of weird, so the only doorway area that really works is right here, so that's kind of difficult. Um, we've struggled a lot with, like, how to lay out this entryway. So, it's been rough. <laughs> it has been rough. I think the lobby is fine the way it is. I feel like it's not done. I feel like it needs more stuff. I also think we need something on this big wall because there's like absolutely nothing there. I don't know. If we wanted to, we could put a wall here by this. Oh no, there can't be a wall on that side of the stairs. There could be a wall on this side of the stairs if we wanted to put like a sign or something. I wanted to use those fish. So that might be kind of a interesting thing to have in here. I don't know. Paint the ceiling. Okay, guys, we're gonna paint the ceiling. <laughs> Let's focus on what we can actually see first. I promise we'll do the ceiling, okay? I promise we'll do the ceiling. Um. A little sign that could act like a map of the cruise ship. That's cute. I wonder if some of the rec center stuff might be okay for that. Um, we have trash cans, Crispy. We already did that. Don't worry. There are trash cans. Um, this is the sort of like rec center sign. But I don't know, I guess that wouldn't hurt to have around in a few places. We can probably add that in like, oh, there's another wall that's got nothing. Oh, cause I just put it here, <laughs> sorry. The reason there's nothing on this wall is because I just placed it a second ago. <laughs> Brock, Queen, Banana, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness, I thought I had like never painted it or something. No, it's just, it was just brand new. Scared of how much this costs. I know, I'm gonna not check the price for a bit and then we'll do like a big final check at the end and we'll, we'll guess, we'll play a little game and try and guess how much it costs. I think that would be kind of fun. Somebody set a mural down the wall, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. They could probably get some fun art here if we wanted to use that there. Is there a gift shop? No, we talked about the gift shop a lot. That was something that came up uh, extremely frequently as we were trying to decide like what this place was gonna be like and everything. Um, gift shop was like a very heavily suggested thing, but we decided, well, I decided, <laughs> me, it was just me, that I didn't really want to do a gift shop because I felt like the gift shop was kind of a random uh, and to your Sims useless addition. Like your Sims can't actually shop here. So I felt like, why should I bother putting in all this fake gift shop stuff? Because they can't even use it. So that was kind of my mentality on the gift shop situation. I don't know if it was the right choice, but that was the choice that I made. 
Is there a photo booth? No, I don't have a photo booth. I saw someone recommend that earlier. Um, and I was like, I really, I didn't read it out loud because I was like, I literally haven't got an actual clue where that would go. Like, look at all this. The space, it's full. <laughs> we have stuff everywhere. So I don't know if we could fit one. Um, hey, Corey, thank you for the three months. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like the photo booth idea or a photo backdrop. Yeah, it would be cool to have a photo booth or backdrop or something. I guess if we really wanted to, we could probably steal some space from this and have it be a smaller bathroom and then put like a photo booth situation in here. Let me try this and see if it's bad or not. Okay. Um, photo booth. One big problem is that the window is being blocked. So that's like extremely annoying. Yeah, there's plenty of bathrooms. So we don't really need to have the two stalls here, obviously, but I don't know. I wonder if we could put some taller curtains. Like, to fill it in so you can't really tell as much. Is it okay if they're clipping into each other? No. I don't know. The colors look bad, I think. That's just- oh, it doesn't even work with the photo booth hiding. I don't know about the photo booth, you guys. Fun in theory, but in practice, it's like... I guess if we really wanted to, I could remove two of these, but even then... I just want to remove that one, but that looks weird from the outside. <laughs> So, under the stairs. I won't fit under the stairs. Do you see how big that is? Put it in the bowling alley. It won't fit in the bowling alley either. Do you see how big it is? <laughs> I think that we're underestimating how much space this takes up. Um, you don't think covering the window is a big deal? Do you not? I feel like covering the window is really annoying. Like, I think that the window covering really bothers me. But maybe I'm being dramatic, I don't know. Faux backdrop with some undersea or nautical decals. <laughs> um, I mean, there is like the thought of putting some of that fake mosquito stuff, but I think that's kind of like, it's, if we were gonna make a whole photo section, I would rather it be like a full on proper photo section instead of it just being like tucked in a corner like that. Photo booth outside the cruise on the dock. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of ugly and like random. Oh, I never put this anywhere. I meant to use this somewhere too and then I forgot. Maybe I'll get rid of the picnic tables and put this here instead. Hmm. Yeah, we've been trying to focus. We were talking about this before. It took a lot of convincing convincing for me to be okay putting this out here. I'm trying to not put things for your Sims to do out here on the dock. Like, I, I'm trying to mainly focus all of the stuff that I'm adding on the ship because my goal is for your Sims to spend most of their time on the ship. So. Anyway, that was kind of my thought process at least. I feel unsure about this. I think I'm being a little dramatic about the window. I know, I, that's, if there's one thing about me, it's that I am dramatic, so I get it. I just, I don't know, maybe this one is better. Should it just be white curtains? Plain white curtains, you can get your photo taken in there. I guess I like that. And then it's another woohoo spot and it would be cute because you get souvenir photos. 
if I scoot it to the wall a bit, will it still function? I mean, yeah, I can scoot it um, like into the wall a bit more, but not by much, so. Hmm. It's another woohoo spot. Immediately sold. <laughs> Immediately sold. That's that's good. As long as there's another woohoo spot, then we're all set, right? That is the priority. Okay, I think that's cute and it's functional. I like that little uh, Stormy Seas painting too. I think this is growing on me. Should there be like some little seats. I know we have, I had done some little seats out there, but maybe some little seats underneath this window would be good. How about a backdrop? So that, that's what I was trying to say, Darby, is that I don't like the idea of the backdrop because A, they're too big for it to fit in that tiny little corner. And if I was gonna do that, if I was gonna like try and add in a photo backdrop space, I really would rather have we made like a proper photo studio instead of just trying to like sneak in a random photo backdrop in this weird little corner that happens to be empty. Like, I just think that that's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of bleh to like just sneak it in there like that. And I, I, I think I would prefer for it to be something smaller if we can't have a proper dedicated space. Okay, the thing that's really bothering me now is just this big, long, pictureless hallway. So, I don't know. I guess we've kind of got like a, a thing going with a lot of these photos right now, upstairs. So maybe we can try and use them again. Um, that's two tiles, two tiles. I don't know. It's kind of weird. The spacing is kind of off. Oh God, it's okay. It's gonna be okay, Kayla. It's really gonna be okay. Some windows so they can watch people bowling. No, I don't wanna add windows in there because I already figured out all the bowling decorations. So, don't think I need photos. You think it's okay to have this just be empty? I don't know. I mean, the walls are gonna be cut away most of the time anyway, so you probably won't see them. Hmm. Maybe a fun wallpaper? I don't know. I'm really struggling with that. We've tried so much. On the outside of ships, they always have the boats and safety donuts. Yeah, Misty, we have, that has been a huge topic of discussion <laughs> about the lifeboats. We're not gonna add any lifeboats in because we tried so many things. It all looked bad and it just, it just, it wasn't worth it. Like we just couldn't get it to be good. So we decided against using it. Um, not for lack of trying, trust me. There was a lot of talk about it, so. Um, oh, you know what we could maybe do is we could maybe use like the, um, Cruise logo again, just big. And like, that's it. Just a logo. Simple, fills it up, doesn't like take up too much space. It's not too dramatic. Yeah, that's because I haven't, uh, Kamash, I haven't fixed this yet. I, sh I shrank the bathroom, so that's why it looks like that. It's because I recently shrank it. It used to be all the way up to here, so we just hadn't completed it yet. Okay. Okay. I think now the next thing that we need to do is go through and look at every single room everywhere and make sure that everything is done and fixed. 
So like, I'm still not totally sold on this entrance. <laughs> I don't know. So when you come in, it looks like this, which is kind of bleh, but I will paint the ceilings. I promise I will paint the ceilings. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we can do that now. <laughs> I don't really know what you guys want me to paint the ceilings with is the problem. <laughs> Everybody's been yelling about painting the ceilings this whole time. Genuinely with what? Like, isn't white ceiling kind of normal? There's some things, like I kind of wanted to use the cloud stuff um, in here, like with the sky thing in this kid's room. But for the most part, otherwise, like... I don't know, I think that we have like... Our expectations are extremely high. Wood ceilings in the sauna. Yeah, stuff like that would be good. Um, but for the most part, like I said, I feel as though a lot of it should just be white. Um, I had used, I think I might have undone it, but I had used this in here. The problem with this room, right, is that, oh my god, that's so infuriating. I don't even care. Um, the problem with this room is that it, um, I hate this game, I hate this game. It's got the round bits, uh, and the ceiling paint is extremely glitchy on the round parts of the, of the building. So, something to consider. <laughs> round doesn't really, uh, compute with ceiling paint at the moment. The Sims doesn't really do that very well, so. Oh, look at how it's... Mm. Okay, again with the round and like the emptiness. You guys, this is rough. This is very, very rough. I can use like some white shiplap. Haha, <laughs> ship. Shiplap. I can use that in a lot of places. I'm okay with that. Maybe in the hallway in the... I don't know. Tiki, shiplap. Ew, look what it does down here. They're getting a white ceiling down here. I'm sorry, I don't care. I'm not allowing myself to feel stressed out about this. It's not worth it. <laughs> I, I won't allow myself to get stressed about this for no reason. <laughs> okay. Um, let's look around at everything again. Uh, Sydney and Wolf and Spongebob and Living With Life, thank you for the subs. You think black ceiling in the theater? Yeah, I mean... Look at what it's doing. Do you see how it's like... painting the, the rooms differently? Like... I don't know, that is really bothering me. If I'm being completely honest with you. It's just dark in there, like I think it's... I don't know, I mean it might be nice, but look at what it's doing. Do you see that? I already painted the ceiling um, in the this room too, obviously. I hate you, game. I hate you. I hate you so, so much. You have no idea how much I hate The Sims 4 right now. I also hate ceiling paint and I regret ever wanting it. I'm, I'm not, we're not doing anything more than that, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. It looks very cute, it's worth it. It's just the ceiling paint and the round walls are really, they're like, I'm so angry at the game right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, room by room. Let's actually think about this stuff again. I'm still really unsure about this. I hate the bottom floor right now. I still hate this entryway and I don't want to hear anything about how you should change the desk because I took so long figuring it out before. The desk is okay. It's the rest of it that I don't know about. But anyway, you come through here. We've got the little kids room. There's like a science corner, some bookshelves, places to read. There's a game table. 
Um, this is like a slide with some fishy stuff. Um, there's like some younger kid things in here. We got art stuff, we got some music, there's a ball pit. Many, many things in there. Um, obviously we have the bathroom that we talked about. Um, this is the photo booth that we just added. Down here, just a hallway. In the back, more hallway, but it does take you to the theater. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is the bowling alley. We've got some kind of cute decor. They even have a bathroom for the bowling alley specifically. Um, what lot type did I make this? You know, ridiculous. It could be like every single lot type. I think I'm gonna upload it to the gallery as a rec center, but it can be a lounge. It can be a restaurant. It can be a cafe. It, like it literally can be anything. It, so I'm thinking either rec center or lounge is what I'm leaning towards uploading it as. But anyway, um, this is the bowling alley space. And then upstairs we have some spots to get food. This is the library on board. They have some board games that you can check out and stuff. Um, the requirements for a beach. I'm not gonna make it into a beach because they'll still um, swim in the water instead of coming on the board, but it's not hard to make a beach. They just need, actually, I think you can do it without any of those things and it still counts. But I wouldn't make it a beach because the, the gameplay that surrounds beaches the sims autonomously swim in the ocean a lot and i don't want sims to swim in the ocean on this lot i want sims to be on the ship so that's kind of what i was thinking anyway over here this is the cafe i feel pretty confident that the cafe can be done oh there's a missing wallpaper though um this in here is where the captain is i would be okay with getting some more like facility signs because I haven't used them everywhere really. So any of these seem like a gym. Maybe I could put like stairs. <laughs> you can you can climb up in the gym. I don't know hard to do little facility signs. We have signs for this stuff already, so that's fine. That's messed up. Oh, I was gonna put a handful of these around, wasn't I? I was thinking about, so like, I wanted them to have some of these guys, uh, the high school PA speakers, cause then they could come on and like talk to the whole ship at once. <laughs> that was my idea. I thought it was kind of realistic that they would be able to have a speaker to connect to everybody. So I might put a handful of them around too. Behind the wine racks outside, you missed a wall. Oh, I did. Okay, I have to fix this again too. This is how we're going through looking at everything again, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but they would make announcements a lot on board the ship, I think. So it's kind of, I think it makes sense to have them. It's also good for emergencies, I bet. Just safe to have something like that. Might convert this cruise ship to a cruise ship high school. Oh my God, that would actually be really fun. <laughs> to have your sims go to high school on board the ship. You might be onto something there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Not in the spa though? No, they would definitely have this in the spa. They use that to make serious announcements. Like if there was like an emergency, they would come on the speaker and be like, everybody, we're gonna die. So they, even if you're in the spa, they'd want you to hear that. <laughs> yeah, sweet life on deck, right? That's kind of cute. Okay. Um, I feel good about this, I think. This is the spa area. We got the showers, there's a bathroom in here sauna i guess i don't have a lot of music speakers everywhere there is music speakers up here right yeah that's music so that counts um maybe i'll put the music low i don't know why not i actually don't hate how that looks to be honest okay Hey, Maura, Fiona, Sydney, thank you for the subs. All right. Maybe I could get some tables in between those little lounge chairs over here. People were upset also about the lounge chairs facing the wrong way, but 
in my experience, um, from what I've seen on board the ships that I've been looking at, they actually all face in and not towards the water. They're all like this, up against the fence. And also, there's if you put them like this way, well, it's there's not really a lot of space. So, um, okay. You wonder why? Well, they're usually facing the pool, so. But they would face the ship and not the ocean. If you wanted to like flatten it or rotate it or whatever, you could. But I think that by default they can be like this, and that's totally fine. Show the restaurant again. Yeah, this is the restaurant. So we have. I haven't gotten to the redoing of this room yet, but we have like a little bar area back here. There's a bunch of tables, uh, this is the host station. There's a lot of outdoor seating. They would bring these umbrellas down when the ship is not docked, don't worry. Um, we have the kitchen here uh, in this room. I was thinking about maybe getting some more like wall decor in the kitchen. Um, why don't you put the whole room on a platform and the stairs will adjust to the height of the platform? I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I kind of liked how it looked. And then obviously if you raise the stairs up, you see how this happens? Ick. Ick. So we did it like this instead. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, this is the, the main dining room on the ship. Um, I want to get, maybe get to work stuff. Because get to work has some interesting, like, I don't know, I guess wall decor that seems kind of, maybe not paper towels. It might be nice, honestly, I don't know why I don't have more of these. We should probably get a whole bunch of fire extinguishers in here. <laughs> I was, I started to put exit signs in some places, but I didn't put them everywhere. Um, in case of fire, here's our emergency plan. The emergency plan is just run, okay? Um, <laughs> oh, we do have this cute little cafe sign. I wonder if I should use that somewhere in here. Maybe I could get that instead of the mirror. It does have weird shadows, but do you care? I don't think I do, to be honest. Um, okay. Water beats fire, so just jump. I mean, if there was a fire on the ship right now, we'd have no problem. We're docked. We can get help. We'll be fine. So, you think light switches? Yeah, I wasn't sure about the light switches. Here's where I'm kind of at right now with the stuff like light switches and everything. I'm kind of nervous about putting too much in here and then like doing everything to such an extreme degree that I then make the- I mean, it's gonna be like impossibly laggy already, isn't it? But I'm- I'm nervous about putting too much stuff and then having it be like... broken. But light switches in the private spaces might be kind of nice, to be honest. We can put them like in the guest rooms. I don't like it in the bathroom, there's no good spot for it. Plant is clipping into balcony railing. What, this one? It might just do that, and we might have to just accept it. Okay. Is there a captain's suite? No, we didn't put any like crew spaces on board the ship. The discussion was that we thought we didn't have enough room for that, so we just made it primarily guest spaces. And do you see how like on the ship, um, like down here, there's like this windowless area that's kind of low under the water. In real life, this ship would be significantly deeper than it looks, right? Like from what you see above the waterline. Um, and we were pretending that the crew have rooms down here. So the captain would have like his own room in there. But for now, his room is right here. And um, he doesn't have a bedroom. He just has like the helm of the ship. But yeah, we didn't want to um, use up space for that when we had like a bowling alley to add, you know? Yeah, Luna, they are, but here's the thing. It's The Sims 4, and the light switches I don't think would look good on the other side of the door because it's so close to the mirror. There's more space right here, okay? So they're gonna be on this side. 
I know everybody means so well, but it's so hard for me not to take things personally when people are like, shouldn't you do it on the other side? Like, <laughs> I just finished it. I don't care enough. It's just the Sims. It's all pretend. <laughs> I know you mean well. I know everybody means so well, but it's like every time I'm building, doing a build, there's always like 15 different comment directions being like, you should have done this instead. What's wrong with you? Anyway, I don't think it matters. It's really okay. It's really okay. We don't need to worry about it. It's the Sims. It's totally pretend. The doors don't even open in or out. Like the doors, depending on where your Sims coming from is how it opens. So it doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, anyway. <laughs> this build is starting to like, it's starting to get to me. <laughs> There's only so much I can handle. I'm not worried about little things like that anymore, you know? Um, okay. I feel like it might be done, though. I feel like it might be done. After all this time, I think it might be done. Because I don't know what else we would add or change. So, we may have done it. We may have done it. I'm gonna save the game. Oh my God, it's about time. This took us so long. <laughs> There is one wall that is unpainted. Oh my God, Lemon, if you're gonna point that out, you gotta say where it is. You have like five seconds to say where it is or else I'm putting it out in the gallery without it. <laughs> I did a check and I didn't see any unpainted walls. It's very possible there is some, but there's also a plant clipping in the balcony. Are you talking about this again? Oh, you mean this one. That one got moved when I had to fix the that's what they were talking about. That got moved when I had to push the door out. I didn't notice. I had to like pull the wall out for a second. Um, okay. Another look around. Maybe I'll paint this all black so it kind of goes away. Um, in the last bedroom, you think that there is an unpainted wall. Oh, you, this one maybe? Did you miss the tour? Kinda, but I'll do it again. <laughs> I will do it again. I will do it again for you, don't worry. Um, that's ceiling paint. I wanted floor paint. Okay. Um, cool. 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 Am I gonna play in this? Yeah, I mean, I think it would be fun to have my Sims come visit it for sure. Um, for the most part, I end up building a lot more than I can actually use. Like most of the houses that I build, obviously there's not enough time literally in the day to play in most of them. Um, Cause I build way more than I have Sims. This is making me want to scream. Oh my God. Is there anything up here? No, it was in the captain's area where I had a couple more spaces and then in the kids area too. Okay. You say just be done. You think just leave it with those two unpainted walls? Maybe I will. Okay, okay. No, I know Misty no one ever means any harm. I'm just on edge because this build is stressing me out so much. Nobody means any harm. It's just, I'm sure you can see how like, uh, and I, I don't mean to bring it up again, someone else did, but when, um, when I'm like finished with something and then all of a sudden people are like, no, go back and change this. And also you're stupid because you did it wrong and it wouldn't be like that in real life. It's like, oh my God, I just want it to be done. <laughs> you know, there, you get, when you're building on stream, you get pulled in like 30 different directions at all times. And sometimes it makes your head want to explode, but it's not a problem. I'm very used to it. It's just like, sometimes it maybe is more apparent than others that it's, uh, ah you know, and I feel ah uh, about it, <laughs> but I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just been a rough week, maybe. Okay, let's guess now, everybody. How much do you think this place costs? I think, I think maybe like 450, 450,000, 480,000. No, I think it's 480,000. I think it costs 480,000. That's my guess. Should I check? 
472. That's not actually that. I was pretty close. Okay, it's six bedrooms. I haven't got a clue how many bathrooms. Probably more than nine, right? Um, 472,000. Oh my god. Um, this pretend cruise ship is functional as many different community lots. Rec center, spa, gym, lounge, bar. It's, oh wait, also a cafe. It could be a restaurant. Should I put it on the gallery as a rec center or as a lounge? What do you guys think? I think rec center. I don't know. Maybe I think lounge. I'm really unsure of rec center or lounge. Lounge will have more adults. Rec center will have people of all ages. And the all ages thing might be better. The lounge will be like honestly mostly old people, which maybe is realistic for a real life cruise, but <laughs> I don't know. I think you say lounge because everyone can do lounges. I mean, this has like a million different packs, so. <sighs> can we do a poll? Doesn't lounge in a microphone? It has a microphone, Ariel. When I say it's functional as all these different lot types, it literally has all the requirements for all of them. So I, I feel like I'm, no, I think I'm gonna keep it as a rec center. The, a rec center is basically like a community center in game. It's like, it's like a catch all lot. Literally the whole point of a rec center is that it is everything. Like when you build a rec center in this game, it's gotta have a gym. It's gotta have like a shower set. It's gotta have kids stuff. It's gotta have music stuff. Like the whole point of a rec center is to have everything and this has everything. So I think that it actually kind of makes sense. And then kids will actually be here. So, oh my God, I messed up. I think, I think I'm leaning towards rec center. Won't the restaurant not work then? Well, most of it won't work, Pizza Party Princess. <laughs> most of it won't work. You're gonna have to switch it if you want it to work. Um, I'm not gonna upload it to the gallery as a restaurant. Most of this is not gonna function at all times. It's not gonna be totally populated with staff. It's just welcome to The Sims 4, you know? Um, if you wanted it to be a restaurant, you could swap it. That's kind of the idea. <laughs> um, um, I built it to look like a boat and function like a pretend hotel. Um, there are places for your sims to stay and many different activities on board. Okay. Hashtag Lil Simsy. I don't know. Um, this is the perfect honeymoon destination or a lovely spot to bring the entire family. Have fun. Hashtag Lil Simsy. Okay. Sapphire of the seas. Are we going to call it that? Or should I just call it cruise ship? <laughs> I could literally just call it cruise ship. Welcome to the Sapphire of the Seas. Maybe I'll just call it cruise ship. Keep it simple, you know? Curse ship, sea bourbon. <laughs> I think cruise ship makes it easier to search for. So it's probably best to call it that, right? <laughs> Hashtag Lil Sim C. There. Welcome to the Sapphire of the Seas upload. Ah! Oh my god, please upload. 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 <sighs> Yes, <laughs> it worked, <laughs> it's up. Okay, it is, it is officially on the gallery, it's done, we did it, four days and we finally finished it. I am so relieved. <laughs> this has been really fun. I'll give you guys a proper tour now, um, now that, uh, 
Well, Stanley, do you want to spend your first night on board? This is this is Wolf Stanley. Stanley Wolfrey instead of Stanley Humphrey, so he's kind of like in a mood, but it's okay. I can work on it. He's gonna be okay. <laughs> he's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine. I just need it to be daytime again for better vibes. But see, he can just stay here. This is kind of how I was picturing the cruise would work. You would just stay here overnight if you so desired. You don't need it to be a rental lot. You can just never leave. <laughs> can you sleep in some more till the lighting is better? Sorry, Stanley. Just trying to improve things a little bit here. Are the guests gonna start coming? <gasps> here they come, here they come! Oh, okay, we're doing Okay, we're just doing push-ups. Here they come, here they come! Yay! <laughs> Decade, thanks for 21 months. Leo, thank you for the 40 months. Uh, Kamasha, thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you so much. Here they come! Look, 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 they're coming onto my ship. It's a celebrity too. You've heard of celebrity cruise lines. Get ready for <laughs> celebrity cruise lines. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me show you around. So here's the exterior of the ship. Uh, we have kind of like a fake dock that it's that it's docked at. Um, so you'd enter through here. Uh, we've got like a sign for the cruise line. You'd walk up. Um, and we've got... Wait, dudes just show up. Yeah, Dad, so basically there's no such thing as like a cruise ship in The Sims, obviously. I've got this classed as like a rec center, like a community center in game. Um, and, and because it's a public lot, like other people will come here. And so like kids will come play on the playground and like adults, the grandmas will come play on the puzzle table and like people will come and visit it. So it's not gonna be empty if you come to play here. My dad doesn't know anything about the Sims, you guys. We gotta tell him how it works. <laughs> anyway, this is how the exterior looks. Um, I did put this little boat playground for the kids. I was sort of unsure of this because I wanted to focus all of the stuff on board, but it was too cute to pass up. So I did use it there. There's also this like old anchor thing. Um, this is the finished product of the building. I tried my best to make it look kind of like a boat. It looks kind of like a boat, I think. I don't know, to the best of my ability, considering it's a Sims build. <laughs> um, in the best way possible, this stream feels like playing the Sims with my best friend on the family computer in the computer room in 2002. That's so cute. That's how I feel when I play Sims on YouTube. I, I agree. And I'm just sat here talking to myself when I do it. Anyway, when you come inside, uh, this is where you enter. We sort of discussed a lot, like the difference in like the realism of the boat versus like the functionality for the Sims. Obviously in real life, when you board a cruise ship, a lot of times there'll be like a cruise terminal and it'd be like out here, like a proper building and you'd park your car there and you'd check all your paperwork and they'd let you on board and all this. So they'd check your security, like through your bags and everything. And then you would come on board. We decided not to do that just because like, for Sims purposes, one, the lot wasn't really big enough and like it just was kind of weird, not really feasible. We didn't put a parking lot because like there isn't roads. This is a beach that your Sims walk on. So we didn't do any of that. Um, maybe on a different lot, not in Sulani, it would have made more sense. But because this is like literally on the ocean, it just didn't really work. So we didn't do any of that. What we have instead is like almost like a hotel style lobby where there's like a desk. Consider it like a help desk on board. You can talk to the staff and get help if you've got questions. Um, and then uh, through here, there's just some stuff in the hallway. We've got like a cool water feature. There's a lot of seating down the hallway, not, nothing too fancy. We do have a bathroom downstairs that you can use if you need one. Um, there's a cute kids area. I like this a lot because we have like some different corners. So there's like a science corner, there's a game table, lots of different toys. So if you have kids come here, there's lots for them to do. Lots of places to skill build in here. This is kind of annoying. I size that up and because it's on a diagonal wall, it like glitches out when you angle it up too high, but just ignore that part, okay? <laughs> just ignore that part all right it's fine <laughs> um and then down this way we have a bowling alley there was big discussion about this too because people are like bowling on a boat because they think it's not practical but thankfully it's the sims 4 and stationary boat so it doesn't matter <laughs> um it just sits there but we liked the idea of trying to have activities like sometimes on real life cruise ships they'll have a casino and stuff like that and we obviously can't have a casino because it's the sims 4 so we have a bowling alley instead. 
and we decorated it kind of fun. There's even like cool ceiling in there. It's actually like, in my opinion, the coolest part of the ship. So we have a bowling alley <laughs> and there's also a bathroom for the bowling alley if you need to use it, um, which I honestly kind of really like. I think it's cool in here. So bowling on a boat is my kind of chaos. It's kind of fun, right? I don't know, I just liked it. And then a lot of times on real life ships also, they'll have like a theater and they'll, they'll do like live uh, stage shows in there sometimes. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, and then in this case, I put a stage and a movie screen because I thought, oh, maybe your Sims could watch TV in here. Um, and we sort of decorated it like it was theater seating. Um, so we have that. Anyway, <laughs> I think there are some real cruise ships that have bowling alleys. I think it's not as like shaky as you think it will be. So um, sometimes cruise ships have like ice rinks got everything. Anyway, upstairs, um, this is like the main floor with all the guest rooms. So when you come up the stairs, there are some vending machines in case you need food. This is what I'm kind of pretending to be a mini promenade deck. In real life, you might have a deck that goes all the way around the entire ship on one floor. Um, we didn't do that because the ship is kind of small and I have like a lot of curved walls and it just wasn't really working. But this is like sort of supposed to emulate that a tiny bit. Um, obviously, chance of dying from the vending machines, which are kind of fun. Uh, in here we have the cruise library. They have some computers for you to use. There's some books and also some board games you can check out. That happens a lot in real life too. Um, oftentimes in real life there's, they've got smaller libraries than this, but this is pretty nice for The Sims. We do have some game tables in here and then we have a little cafe. So your Sims can come here and they can order like a drink or, or get some food. It's not currently tended, but you can hire staff if you would like to, um, or you could class it as a cafe if you want to use it that way. Um, in here, this is where the captain is. Uh, there's like a double door to get in there. <laughs> and then this is where they drive the boat. Um, it almost looks like a spaceship command to me a little bit. I think it's incredibly funny how the gnome has like a wheel attached to him. And then there's a bigger wheel in front of him. <laughs> Something about this really amuses me. But then these guys, they're on the, on the tech. They uh, help navigate. These are also like... This kind of looks like we've got targets, okay? But pretend these are our cruise ports. There's nothing scary going on here. This is perfectly normal. We're not staging any sort of attack, okay? <laughs> it might look like it, but we're not. It's just the cruise ports. <laughs> it's just the ship's uh, cruise route, okay? It's fine. <laughs> it's just, it's fine. <laughs> My dad is a real life captain. Dad, what do you think? Does this seem realistic to you? <laughs> uh-huh. Waypoints. They're waypoints, dad. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, down here, these are where the hotel rooms are. They're all duplicates of each other. There's five. Um, so a lot of times these cruise ships have very skinny, small rooms. Um, you walk in and there's like some storage like for your clothing and everything um, down the hallway in here we do have a thermostat there's a bed with like an attached um, couch couldn't think of the word um, and then we also have like some attached storage here and a built-in desk you know how a lot of times in hotels like everything is just kind of all attached and like one big piece of furniture it's kind of realistic in that way I think and I like to pretend that this is a pull-out couch it's not actually a pull-out couch because it's the Sims 4 um, and I don't like the tiny living Murphy beds. They don't really match, but it, we can pretend it is because it would be in real life. And that's just duplicated a few times. They all have balconies too, which is pretty nice. And then we have a gym on this floor, which Stanley is already taking advantage of, which is kind of cute. If you were to like come here and use this gym, I mean, come on, that's beautiful. Um, and then you go upstairs again and it takes you directly upstairs into the dining room um, where it's like kind of a formal dining area. There's a bar with some wine. We got some seating. It's class. It does function as a restaurant if you switch it to one. There's also some outdoor seating out here. Um, and this is where the chef cooks inside this little room. And then the main attraction on this floor is the spa. We have like some showers and lockers that you come into. Um, come to the right, we've got places to get a massage. There's a sauna, you can get your nails done. And then this is like a fancy suite. It's like the biggest, nicest hotel room. They have the best bathroom and they've got three balconies and their own hot tub and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you were to come here with your Sims, I mean, if you wanted to stay in here, go for it. I might prefer to have my Sims suffer, but you know. <laughs> yeah, you can change all the times while Sims visiting. If I were you, I might reload though, Michelle, if you switch it. 
Stanley's here, you can switch it to anything, but I might reload because then it'll have the staff populate faster if you reload. So like go to manage worlds and come back if you do that. So that there's gonna be restaurant staff easier. It's hard to make a build like this functional. It's just like this limitations of the Sims 4 makes it difficult for it to do this many things. Um, but then anyway, you go, uh, sorry, back upstairs. This is where the spa is and everything. Um, you can also see sort of the pool from here. Uh, but when you go upstairs again, there's kind of like a little seating area. The top deck is the pool deck. So we have two hot tubs. Um, there's a bunch of lounge chairs by a huge pool. And it's cool, it's like an infinity pool. So it's overhanging off the edge of the boat. Um, there's also like a little bar on top. It's kind of like a cute pool bar. It's sort of like beachy themed a little bit. There's like surfboards and stuff on this. Uh, and there's also a stage so they can do some live music for you up here. Um, and that is the whole build. That's what it looks like. So <laughs> I'm curious to find out really quickly how much it costs if I did make it a rental lot. So I might really quickly switch it to a vacation rental just so that we can see um, and we can have Stanley come rent it so we can find out how much it'll cost. <laughs> um, Stanley, would you like to go on vacation? Take a vacation by yourself. We'll come right here to the place we are already visiting. How about that? Anyway, this build uses like a million packs. So for that, I apologize. It's definitely not a limited pack build, but it's been fun to go through and imagine and pretend about. So, <laughs> um, so if you were to come and stay here, maybe I need to reload. Hold on. Yeah, this build was way more expensive than the ski resort was. This is actually bigger than the ski resort was, though, I think. The ski resort, you know how when I built that before, it had a lot of, like, um, wide open, empty space in the ski resort. Like, I, I, like, opened the flooring in there a lot. Like, there was just kind of less in the ski resort. There's a lot more happening in here. What took longer this is the resort? I think that this in the resort had a very similar amount of time that it took. They're, they've both taken about 12 hours, I think total. Um, maybe there was the ski resort was a little bit less. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, let's try again, Stanley. We'll see what it does. Come on. Yeah, I built this on YouTube today, this apartment, by the way. There we go. That worked. I had to reload. So if you wanted to rent this lot, it would cost you $4,700 per day. $4,669 if you wanted to rent it. I wouldn't though. I think it would be boring to use it as a rental because it's, it's sort of designed to be a community lot. It would be weird if you were the only one there. Like I, I just, I probably wouldn't use it like that because I would prefer to have other Sims be on board. Like that's kind of the vision for it, so. I don't know. It looks so big for managed worlds. I did a video where I, oh, let me go back. I did a video where I built a little tiny houseboat <laughs> and it's quite funny to look at them next to each other because it's like so small and then the, the, the big one is so big. <laughs> but I built that on YouTube. Um, and then this one is the cruise ship, so. <laughs> no, it's not that bad if you have um, a lot of money in the game. Honestly, 4,700 to have an entire cruise ship to yourself that is a lovely number. If you could rent an entire cruise ship for that amount. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. <laughs> when is the little boat video coming? Didn't I post that already? Let me find out. I thought I did. Yeah, I posted it yesterday. So yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, I posted that. I built it like the beginning of the week. So I, you confused me for a second there. I was like, when did I post that? I thought I already did. I did. I did. So, have you, Eli? Yeah, the, um, I really like how, I think it's in this world. We also built in Mount Komorebi a ski resort recently, which looks like this, the Great Elk Lodge and Spa. We've done a couple giant builds the past couple weeks. <laughs> um, I think the next build that I want to work on, not, not immediately, but I want to do some big townhouses again. I did that once before, I never finished it. So I'd like to actually try and finish it if we did those again. <laughs> That's my next stop. Um, so anyway, you're playing in the ski resort now, really? It has it been fun. I haven't actually brought my own Sims to visit it yet. 
but do I prefer the boat or the ski resort? I don't know. I think I... I think that the boat is cooler, but I think that I did a better job with the ski resort. I don't know. Maybe I just think that and it's not true, but I don't know. Huge shopping mall could be fun. Oh my God, that would be kind of fun. We'll see. Could you renovate the Spencer Kim Lewis household, please? Ugh. <laughs> that is a big task, isn't it? I mean, I guess we maybe could. Not today. Maybe soon we could. I wouldn't be entirely opposed to doing that. I'll write it down. It's been, I don't ever do that because this one I think is so ugly. I've done it before for sure, but it's been a long time. It's just not my vibes. Yeah, I feel like I, I've definitely made a video on this before and I feel like I probably, I've definitely started this again more recently and then given up. I like the concept. I like the little garden they have. I don't know, it's not bad. It's just like, it's really quite something, you know? Did I make it tiny? Oh yeah, I did make a version of it where I made it very small, didn't I? I did a couple videos when Tiny Living came out where I built like the land grab house, but small and the goth house, but really small. <laughs> and I think I did this one too. I forgot about that. That's funny. That might be the last time that I like renovated it, but that doesn't really count as renovating because it was like this big. <laughs> it was like this tiny and this small. <laughs> Anyway, what are you building? Well, we just finished building a cruise ship. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I usually get off stream about 20 minutes, but... Was it way after any living? I don't know. All, everything blurs together in the past couple of years. I don't know what I'm talking about, if I'm being honest. But we can just chat. 100 baby. You know what we could do? <laughs> we spend 20 minutes playing 100 baby. <laughs> Like this, this much of progress on 100, baby. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we will get there. We will finish that dumb challenge, okay? 1% <laughs> progress is what we will do. Um, you know, Copper, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Not to, not to be so dramatic, but I'm gonna be a little dramatic for a second. I don't know what's going on with me. The last two months, my periods have been so unbearably horrible. Today has been so bad. Last night, I did not sleep because I was having such bad cramps. I was up from like, honestly, like three to 6.30 in the morning because I was in so much pain. So I don't know, we'll see how tonight goes and maybe I'll stream tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, all right, 100 baby challenge sad phase is my new stream title. But yeah, it's been rough this past couple months, so. Ugh, ugh. I don't usually stream on Sundays, but I was thinking about maybe popping in so I could play some games. Okay, you, no. I don't, uh, I don't agree with my Sims being sad about the, uh, the dead Sim, because in my humble opinion, you didn't know him. Like, you don't care, you know? You didn't know him. You don't care that he's dead. It's fine. Oh god. Every time I stop playing this dumb challenge, I end up with an infant. Ugh. Okay. All right. Let me revisit. Let me rethink this. What are we what are we dealing with? So, we just gave birth at the very end of our last stream, and we also just got pregnant at the very end of our last stream. Um, we kind of do both at the same time. So we are currently pregnant with Cameron Fletcher's baby. And this baby B uh, is uh, Naoki Ito's baby from Snowy Escape. So, all right. You can't find this house on the gallery. Does it maybe say that it has CC? Um. Would that be all my photos? Do you think if I deleted them and put it on the gallery then it would work?
Yeah, it's the pictures. Um, okay, that's really annoying. It probably counts as having CC because of that. I can try and put it up on the gallery without them in a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if it if the original version counts as having CC or not. I feel like it wouldn't have, but maybe it did. I don't know. I don't know. I only see the tiny one. Yeah, maybe this one has CC then in the bigger version that I uploaded. CC is in pictures that the game says are CC, but actually aren't. So rude. So, so, so rude. All right. We're speed running right now, chat. We're speed running. <laughs> Mark my words, I will get some baby challenge stuff done today if it's the last thing I do. Okay. Yeah, it is rude. I like to have pictures in my builds, but anyway. This build, the problem is I don't really want to upload it like this because it's like not done. <laughs> so I don't want to upload it again. Like people keep being like, post it, post it. But I keep being like, but wait, the upstairs isn't done. The garage isn't done. <laughs> maybe I'll, um, maybe I could finish that now and that could be what I do for the next 20 minutes. How about that? But this is the problem with builds that you're like actively playing on. You're slowly, slowly, slowly changing it and stuff. Um, I thought it was done. No, it's just, it's, it never will be done though, will it? It just never will be. Um, I will grab some things. We can have a sliding door into here. I'm gonna get a couple things that will be very useful for me. For example, a cupcake machine. Um, I would like to have the microscope. I don't know. Just thinking of some fun ideas. There goes another book typed. Dad, I didn't even type that fast just then. Um, soon the cupcake machine will be useless. I know, there's, there, um making it so that the cupcake machine, so you'll be able to cook cupcakes on like a regular stove, which while exciting is kind of the end of an era. It breaks my heart a little bit. It's not in Cats and Dogs, no, but this is in San Sequoia. This is in the world that comes with um, growing together. That's where I have built this. Okay, um, honestly, I don't really need additional fencing right here, but I'm gonna buy it anyway. Cause I just sort of wanna have more stuff to separate it. Rip to the cupcake machine. Well, she's not dead. She just won't be as necessary. I kind of love the cupcake machine though. She's a little bit iconic, so I hope that she never dies. May the cupcake machine never die. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, this is kind of like not that good. I'm not feeling obsessed with it. Bug. I want to get I like the I like the house it's more when I say that I more so mean that like I'm not obsessed with um how the landscaping is looking because everything's dead so it's making things a little bit difficult isn't it okay we'll get some more plants though this will help Maybe I could get like a garden in this area. That might be cute. I don't know. Landscape dead, just like the cupcake machine. <laughs> oh, it's too soon, it's too soon. I'm never gonna get over it. I'm gonna miss that cupcake machine forever. Tree house maybe? Oh, I guess we could get a tree house now. Hmm. How much are the bills? Oh, very expensive. But I have, um, we don't need to worry about the bills like that much because I do have a, 
Come on, treehouse. I do have the ability to paint things that are extremely uh, expensive. Oh, I'm filtering by basing, that's why. My sim is like max level painting, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> we will be okay. Charlotte, thank you for the seven gifted subs. Thank you so much. Okay, are they deleting the cupcake machine? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry, they're not deleting the cupcake machine. Um, they're just making it so that you can bake cupcakes in a regular oven now. So we're saying the cupcake machine is dead, sort of jokingly. Um, just talking about the fact that they're making it so that you don't need the cupcake machine as the only way to make cupcakes anymore. Well, not yet, but when the stuff pack comes out in the base game update, it's going to happen at the same time. So they are, in their words, freeing the cupcakes, um, just like they freed the babies. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about when we say that, but they're not going to delete the cupcake machine. They would never like delete content that we have. Um, they are just making it more useless. <laughs> That's all. They're not deleting it. They're just making it more useless. I'm not mad about it, though. It is just kind of sad. It's like the end of an era. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will put these little guys right there. I can get my woohoo bush right there still. I like that. I thought you were going to play 100 baby, not build 100 baby. Yeah, Christine, but then they said, I can't find it on the gallery. And I decided, you know what? They've been saying that for ages. It's because it counts as having CC. And also I kept refusing to upload it until after I had finished more of it. So what if I just went in and finished more of it? <laughs> That's what I'm picturing is what, what we're doing here. You're just trying to avoid infants? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But listen, the choice is yours. I can do this now, or I can do this next time I play. Either way, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I may as well do it now. Okay, um, we're running out of money, but that's okay. It's looking better, so that's fine. And honestly, anything to avoid the infants, right? Anything to avoid the infants. Garage is cute. Get some storage. I like that. For now. And anyone who gets it off the gallery is gonna know that like, obviously it's not completely done. It's sort of been a work in progress, right? Hmm. Oh. Get this filled back up, okay. So you finished the boat? I did, I did finish the boat. The boat is complete, thankfully. It's about time. <laughs> well, the get to work bake goes transfer over to the oven too. Um, I would guess so. I would guess that they're gonna make anything that you can currently only make on the cupcake machine. My assumption is that they're gonna take all of that and make it functional on the oven. I guess we'll have to see, but I'm sure that they would they would have thought of that. So if they're thinking this much about like giving us this long requested update, they would surely do all of it, right? Yeah, these bookcases are from growing together, these ones that I just put in. Um, I don't really even use this room. It's more decorative than anything, but it's not fully decorated yet, obviously. Will that be base game too? No, that, that should be a base game update. Um, the cupcakes coming to be freed. They, they put that in the live stream that it would be, so. Well, it's not really a live stream, is it? <laughs> it wasn't really a live stream. It was more of like a, um, it was like a video that they premiered, <laughs> so. Anyway, pre-recorded video is more what it was, but anyway. Um, honestly, I'm gonna use that color because I like it so much. Okay, 
Maybe I'll just leave it at that and then put it on the gallery like this after I do terrain paint. Hmm. That seems like a good choice. I'll also make it summertime before I put it on the gallery. We did finish the cruise ship. Yes, Lunar. Finally. <laughs> Finally, we did finish the cruise ship. I am free. <laughs> no, I had fun doing it, uh, but we finished it today. So about like 10 minutes ago, we're, we're just working on fixing my baby challenge house up afterward because I have some time to kill. I usually get off stream about seven. So I wanted to add to this a little. Yeah, I like this method of, of giving us Sims news. I think it's really, really cool to be honest. So I, I kind of like it. I'm not mad about it at all. Um... Honestly, I'm not really feeling obsessed with this. Maybe I could get like some sort of front entrance thing. Yeah. Okay, that's a little better. I don't know. I'm gonna wanna like, I need to do a whole stream where I try and fix this building, to be honest. Um, this is not good enough. You know what I kinda want is like a whole toddler playground. This is terrible. I probably shouldn't do it. But I kinda want it is the problem. So, the huge room with the projects kills you. It's funny, isn't it? I kind of like it. Like with the ball pit. I might have to put it somewhere else. I don't know if it's gonna fit here. We might need to redo everything. Oh, I also probably can't afford it. Hmm. But like, imagine that, you know? Insufficient funds. Okay, we can't do it yet. We'll have to do it later. Next time. Not today, but next time. <laughs> it's not time for us yet. With the cruise ship, unfortunately. All right, let me save my game and then I will put it on the gallery for you all. I have to do a couple adjustments first, but then I will. Nice. Um, I still don't want to, just to make it clear. <laughs> I still don't want to do this, but I am gonna do it. I would prefer that I had more time to finish it properly, but it's okay. What are we building? Um, I was just making a couple adjustments to my 100 baby challenge house so I could put it on the gallery for people again, because the version on the gallery right now of this house counts as having CC. Um, so a lot of people can't find it on the gallery, so. These kitchen counters are from Cottage Living Alley. Those are from Cottage Living. Come on, clouds, go away. There we go. All right. Delete, 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 delete. I have to delete these because otherwise it won't upload as um, CC free. Oh no. Oh no. Number of babies? Um, I think we've had like 40. I don't remember exactly. 42 babies. These are all the baby daddies, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> um, okay. 100 baby challenge house. I don't even know how many bedrooms it is. I, I mean, maybe we can say it's three bedrooms and like five bathrooms or something. Um, this is a recent update of my 100 baby challenge house from the series I've been doing on my Twitch channel. Hashtag little Simsy. Hashtag 100 baby. Okay. Probably has like a million packs, but it's not looking so bad. 
new and improved, if you will. New and improved. Okay, I'm gonna go to main menu again because I uh, don't want to save what I just did. And then we'll come back. Well, this has been good. We, we got two big things done. Baby challenge and the cruise ship. <laughs> we did both. Yay. All right. We'll load back. You know, Jacob, I don't know why the pictures count as CC. Because in my experience, they don't always count as CC. But um, the game is counting them as CC. I think it's partially a, like, a preventative measure for them. Because, like, hypothetically... You could take pictures of something really bad in game, like concept being maybe I download like a nudity mod and then I take a photo of said nudity mod in game and then I post it on the gallery. It's not so easy for them to- look, there's a ship in the back. It's not so easy for them to moderate that, obviously, um, so they mark all those things as having CC so it won't be obviously so clear into the game. So I think that sort of thing is probably part of it and like probably plays a role um, in their choice to mark photos as CC, but anyway, it's kind of annoying. There are ways around it, like you can do um, like paint by references that don't count as CC and stuff, but anyway. Um, that's my thought though, <laughs> if I'm not sure. Yeah, it's weird that custom paintings don't do that, but photographs do, but I don't know. Oh well. Oh well. Oh my god, you guys, look, it's 7 o'clock. Oh, I um, guess I have to get off stream then. <laughs> Too bad, we didn't get a chance to play the challenge. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we did so much building, we didn't get a chance to play with the Sims at all. Dang. No time for infants, I guess. Put the kid down. Don't put the kid down there. Wrong place. What is wrong with you? Oh my goodness. Maybe we can try and get the kids at least ready to go to school today. I don't know. And then when I come back next time, everyone's needs are gonna be good and I'm gonna be so happy and proud of myself. How about that? Do homework. You guys all have some time. You could probably do some homework. You're miserable. You're miserable too. Okay, get some food. Nice! This is not so bad. The house is so cute. Thanks! I'm actually really proud of this house. I think it's pretty adorable. I like the vibes in it a lot. Okay. Okay. You eat this. Probably need to give you a bath too, but anyway. Baby has the same name as you, really? Yeah, we have a spreadsheet um, that I use for naming the babies. I can show you. Um, these are all names that were recommended to us by uh, people who donated to my charity fundraiser in May. So we randomized names off of this, um, both for my children and for my rats that keep dying. So <laughs> somebody uh, paid $25 to the kids of St. Jude to be able to name that Sim B. <laughs> Okay, how are you doing, kiddo? You didn't even finish eating. Why did they do that? Can you eat again? Go to school. Okay. Okay. Can I please put house on the gallery? <laughs> yeah, I just did that about five minutes ago again. So you're in luck. I, I did just put it on the gallery again about five minutes ago. Uh, I spent a whole bunch of time trying to update it for the gallery on purpose and everything. So you're in luck. Okay, let's get a bath. And then everyone's gonna be all good. How's Snap doing? She's been okay, Taco, she's been okay. Um, I think the yesterday and the first day after her anesthesia, she was very, I keep describing her as wobbly. <laughs> Um, I didn't trust her to like get off the couch by herself and stuff, but she's been doing better today, which is good. Um, and I think she's feeling better. I don't think she's in any pain or anything. Um, she's eating like totally normally. If anything, she, um, I think has been quite hungry because she couldn't eat all day when she had the surgery, so. But anyway. All is well. Wobbly kitty. Yeah, I'm not kidding. She was like falling over when she was trying to stand up and stuff. 
so she's okay. She is okay. Poor baby. Received an excellence bunny award. Oh, good job. <laughs> All right, how are your skills doing? I need movement and communication and stuff. All right, go slide. Yeah, 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 it was the anesthesia. It was her coming out from the anesthesia focus, I know. Um, but it took a honestly longer than I expected for it to wear off. <laughs> the vet was like, tonight she'll be wobbly, but then she was wobbly all the next day. <laughs> so anyway, um, but she's okay, she's okay. She had to get some teeth pulled, Chris, nothing too bad. She just had to go under anesthesia right to get some teeth pulled. So, okay. Oh, you got level three movement. Never mind. You can stop that then. Sorry, buddy. Time's up, toothpaste. Anyone seen a rodent around here? Goes by the name toothpaste. Let them know that Dawn Landgrab is looking for a payment if they want to continue to feel protected. Oh, drama. Wow. But yeah, she's older, so it's not it's not um, strange <laughs> that it's happening. But anyway. You would think the vet said only that night and then she was wrong so <laughs> but anyway it's not a big deal it's totally fine she's okay all is well all right i think on that note though i may end the stream right here because talking about the cats makes me want to go hang out with the cats um so <laughs> i think that's what i want to go do now i'm glad that we finished the cruise ship i'm glad we got some updates done on on the baby challenge house um and we played for like you know two minutes or so so there. <laughs> um, I may or may not stream tomorrow. I'll let you know um, in the morning when I wake up how I'm feeling and if I decide I'm going to. But um, if I do, I might play... Honestly, I might play Palea. I might play Fay Farm. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. I don't usually stream on Sundays, um, but I don't know. May or may not. We shall see. Monday, I'm thinking about building, and then Tuesday, we're going to play Among Us. So we're going to play Among Us on Tuesday, which will be kind of fun. Um, but on that note, I think I shall go and find somebody to raid. Let me go see who all is live and we can raid, raid. someone. Ah, sorry, open my own stream. I hope you have a great night, everybody. Um, it's been a lot of fun today. Um, and maybe, you know, I just talked about, um, oops, sh I keep unmuting everybody. I just talked about Fay Farm. My friend Sasha is live and playing Fay Farm. <laughs> so maybe I'll go over and raid Vixella. Uh, we can we can watch some Fay Farm today. That might be kind of fun. Um, so have a lovely rest of your evening. Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, and I shall catch you all maybe tomorrow, maybe on Monday. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Anyway, have a great night, okay? Goodbye, everybody. See you later. Bye. Stop streaming.